Hey, uh, by the way, welcome to another episode of Off the Record. This is the first time we've had a repeat guest back, probably within like about like two, three weeks. Don't call me a guest. I, I don't want to be a guest anymore. Oh, you just want to be a host? A I bet. <laughs> like, the, can I be a regular? Hey, well, 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 here's the thing. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Who the fuck calling me right now? You know who that is. I ain't nobody. Nah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that was Fat Trail, nigga. Tell me he about to slap the shit out of you. It's Hold cool. on, though. Uh, <laughs> so in reality. <laughs> You know why? We, you know why I got you back on? Yeah, because I was reading the comments. You want the truth or a lie? No, no, no. I was reading the comments, and a lot of people said, "Listen, man, Aunt Glizzy was actually giving a lot of game." Or was I the biggest interview you had since a minute? I seen the numbers. I don't think nah. nobody did five hundred thousand that fast. It's not even that. It's, 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 like, it's like a lot of people. Like play this. Everybody who came on. Now we've had numbers like that, but it's like, like you expected it because the name was big. I feel like I could talk about talk to you about anything, and that'll be the same thing. You know why? Because I think, for whatever reason, you've gained and cultivated like an audience that people like what you're saying because it's super relatable, and they're like, "Yo, this thing is spitting." I'm the chosen one. Well, I think you're honest. Real honest. I think so. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, first and foremost, our last interview we did, man, a lot of people were upset. There's a lot of fallout that happened. Um, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to break up the situation in my household. I see what you're trying to do with that one, man. Could you talk about that? I was trying to mess up your household. I you was trying not to mess up my house. So, 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 let me explain it. Uh, Anglizzy comes up here. Does some recognizance, does his homework, and basically finds out that the girl I'm dealing with, her Instagram name has the word glizzy in it. Glizzy, glizzy, baby. So now, because of that, he comes in and he's trolling me saying, hey, do you know how women get the word glizzy in their name? He's trolling me about where she's from. And by the way, that's turned into a whole nother thing because number one, she got on your ass. And then I think you took it bigger and further to Virginia. And I think they got on your ass. <laughs> I'm going to give you the, the opportunity to recant. And you know what I mean? I know Virginia as a whole is looking at you. Um, First of all, fuck Virginia. And second of all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, a couple niggas hit me from uh, from Richmond. They about to get I did blood. not start trolling you, bro. Like I hate when I get the blame. See, when I you talk, did. when I talk, they blame me. I can now let's refresh his memory. Academics, you start saying Shot Glizzy is known for hitting your girlfriend. Some, some, some. I said, so you want to talk about girlfriends? No, you, you admitted said, so to me I that Shot you? Glizzy fucked your girl. Didn't you say that? And I admitted that your girlfriend got Glizzy on the end of her name. How did you get Glizzy no, on the no. end of your name? <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. But but she speak Glockanese. What they hit her mean? with that Glocky on Miss Glizzy. What the fuck does even Glizzy mean? <laughs> hey, so how did y'all come up with that? How did somebody in your house come in? How does somebody come in the house with a name you don't understand? That's crazy to me. Uh, it's like a, it's a playoff. It's shy Glizzy. Come on now. Everybody knows, like, shy Glizzy is a popular rapper. DCF. If Rick, my you know? girlfriend name was Four Pocket Full Such and Such, her ass would be over there where she live at. She can't even come out Four Pocket Full Such and Such. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm just saying. So you saying that if if, if, if your girl name was I don't know, um, cute uh, baby chopper like NLE chopper, cute baby chopper, her ass would be cute baby chopper somewhere else. Yeah, but everybody was. Hey, by the way, and I ain't gonna lie to you, Glizzy is rare, bro. That's that ain't that that ain't like no. That ain't no regular, like, all right. I can see if you put OVO at the end of your name. That's Drake. You put some low key alias DC guys, like, we originated no, 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 no. that from scratch. I'm glad I'm glad you said that. So, what I was told, and, and can we get him a cup that he can ask this thing? Uh, what I was told was this that whole glizzy thing that you taking credit for. Nigga, that's not only known to y'all. That's a whole DC. That's a DMV thing, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? 
I told you, wherever you're getting your resources from is lying. Like, the comments are with me. The comments going to tell you, D.C., we started glitzy. I'm from D.C. Nobody can tell you about D.C. but a guy from D.C. I'm from D.C. I'm not telling you what somebody else told you. I'm telling you with a person from here. I got a D.C. driver's license in my pocket. You want to see it? I'm from D.C. We started glizzy. That's what it is. But I don't really care about glizzy. That's ain't my name no more. Nigga, don't pour it in my shit. My, I got glizzy. Glizzy is good. My <laughs> bad. My bad. I ain't mean to ask you your cup, bro. God don't, damn. Don't tell your girl on me. But look, let's get back to her, though. Nah, Before nah, you try no, to get no. off the subject, hold on. No, no, hold on now. Wait, wait. So Because so. she did me. She wrote me. I, I left this interview. I went home. I'm not thinking about no academics girl or nothing. Your yeah. girlfriend wrote me. Whole paragraph. Woo, woo. Now let's get into it. Let's talk about it before you cut me off and do your professional thing. Holy. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what he do. Wow. She DMs me. A paragraph. Woo, woo. All right, she say what she say about the interview. I say I didn't mean that. I was trying to be respectful because it's your girlfriend. First of all, I'm not going to disrespect your girlfriend. It's no, it shouldn't be no purpose. First of all, I respect you, so I'm going to respect your girlfriend. I'm going to give her all the utmost respect. Okay, and two, okay. she started throwing in there like some guys from around your way said you can't come back to your hood. Is that true? Academics said you was begging for a D, uh, begging for an interview and all this in the third. Academics, come oh. on. I need you to come out your mouth and tell me that you DM me, sir. No, no, no. Of course I, no. Nah, I, 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 I hit you to pull up. But anyway. Holy. Here's the thing. This is, listen, and this is for all my, you know, I have a lot of women who watch me. So it's not only just her, but I think it's you, like. I think you was pillow talking. No, no, no. I think you was laid up with her at night. Like, yeah, yeah, hey, Glizzy about yeah. to come in here. And you, man, this thing been geeking for an interview. I'm about to give him the interview. I know how niggas from the suburbs be. You was just no. trying to be down for the moment. I get it. Yo. You drive a Lambo, you ain't got to do that. No, no, here's the thing. You see, every girl, they know the moment a nigga who done piped them out, who then reveals that, come around, they're done. So I personally believe she was going hard to be like, hey, if you ever believed anything, that nigga's capping. And I got to let it be known because here's the thing. Why I'm, she in my DM? Well, she's trying to tell you lying. Nobody in my family, nobody that I know will ever write you. My if, girlfriend would never if DM. If I was on camera, Bruh. if I was on camera and I said. Say it right now. We okay. on camera. Say whatever you want to say about my girlfriend and see if she pop in your DMs. Like pick the worst thing you can say right now. You piped her down. Well, you know, I tell your name. I whisper it to you so you can give it to the world. Like make up a story. Well, well, well now she knows it's not real. But here's the thing. If, if the first interview, I was just like. I'm a man. You a yo, suburbian. I ain't going to lie to you. Yo, damn, yo, 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 you show me a girl like off camera, like I ain't gonna lie, she look mad familiar, man. Like I used to go to DC a lot, man. I knocked down a lot. I'm just, I don't know if I knocked her down, but she look mad familiar. You know what she the first thing she gonna do? Academic stop lying, you fat ass motherfucker. I ain't never seen you in life. You tender dick. I'm not. I what? don't I don't Your care. girl would say that. No, 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 it's not about it's not about you, it's about your girl, it's how she reacts. I'm playing act. I don't got I don't have a heart. My heart is in pieces. If you put it back together, you can have it. I don't give a fuck about these females, how they feel, nothing. I'm a man. You care about your girl. You about to get her some shit now, Louis Vuitton. I love my girl. Never some gonna fake on her. Lemon. Never gonna fake on her. Love my girl. But what I'm here to tell you is my girl got a respect for me as a man. She ain't right nobody, nobody about nothing. I got going on about nothing. Like they could my girl I might get into something on the internet. Cause of me, like they might say my girl something. They got whole stories about her just saying that she not replying, saying that to her nothing. She know looking and she know what the business is. She can't don't speak on the business. She can't speak on the business, bro. What, what, my man? what do you mean don't speak on the business? Don't speak on the business. Me and you doing business. She can't speak on this. If I don't so give if what right type of now business I it said, is. yo, listen, man. Nah, yo, I seen this girl, and this girl low key used to be on all them like you know what I mean them little. Them, them little escort sites, like she was really selling it out there. You, you, your girl, your girl ain't gonna stand up for herself. You don't say no, because I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you where I come in when it comes to females. Why she gotta stand up for herself? That's my girl. I, she don't gotta go if I, if. Would she, you stand up for her? Why do I got? First of all, why do me and my girl gotta fix our opinion to a world that we don't care about? This world don't pay my bills. This world don't do nothing for me. I don't care about what the world opinions is. I'm a real nigga. Nobody they say shit about me every day. They talk about my mother. You talking about a girl, bro? I don't care about no girl. I don't have I don't have girl problems. Like when I walk in the house, the problems are because I create them. Like I ain't walking. Out. It's my house. Like I'm a man. Act is my house. These my cars. This my shit. This you can be replaced. Like it's a blessing to be around me. Anything other than that. Is un ungodly. Like we ain't going for that. I'm a, I ain't going for that shit though. I, you is you from the suburbs, bro. I come from the struggle. No, I ain't never had listen, shit. I don't like when you say that though, because like you acting. Hey, listen. You got a good heart, bro. I do got a good heart. Good heart can get you fucked over. A good heart can get your back door open, and she got shut it coming. No, 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 no. Jay. Hey, hey. Well, 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 well. Another thing we got it like. She, she did close the back door. I'm just. We got to give her some credit. She closed she, the back door. The back door wouldn't even been open. 
She closed it though. Why close it? She opened it. I would have closed it too. <laughs> Fuck this. Hey, <laughs> who opened it? Here's the thing though. How she know where the back door was? Okay, okay, how okay. they know where the back door was at? Okay, can we get a few facts established? The you, facts is you don't know her. I don't know her. She puts you together. You just in denial about her opinion on my on GQ on my dead best friend. She puts you together. Let me tell you how well, I know she put me together. I'm not. I'm she this. put you together. She knew about that girl back doing you. You just think she didn't know because she accidentally no. shut the door. Messed the move up. I asked the police. Hey, you know me. me you, I'm a, a law-abiding citizen. Yo, I was yo. The you police it, came to me. I told them. I said, run a warrant on everybody, you including me, nigga. I told the police to run a, a warrant on my phone in case I set myself up. You, I need to know everything. Some guys who are locked up allegedly for shooting other guys, they could have came and shot you. Like they could have shot you. You nah, still, that's true, that's you true. still playing about it though. Like it's still. No, home. I'm not playing Holy, about it. Like no, no. it's, it's still a if I didn't take it as serious, I wouldn't keep bringing it Let up. Let me tell you why I take this serious. Yo, hold on. By the way, about it. The reason, like me, even mention this publicly every time, bro. You think like where, like my town, bro? I'm like I, I won't say I'm the most because there's there's other celebrities that live there, bro. Me mentioning this, nigga. They're not playing about this case. They know they gotta drag these niggas. These niggas is getting penitentiary. They are gonna have a ball attached to their fucking ankle. It's a wrap for them. They they'll never see their kids, their mama. This done for them. They should never came to my crib. They should have went to somebody else. This how else's I know crib. she put you together though. I Nigga, I typed up when a she 15 DM, page essay. When that, she, that's my witness statement. When she that DM, though, when she DM after the situation what? of the interview, when she DM me, it let me know her whole type of girl she is, bro. All right, bro, hold on. I right, expose so, her. So wait. So now I'm gonna be honest. She un she un wait, out wait. Of, she un out of female. Wait, 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 that wait, she, wait, wait, wait. Let me talk. No, let me talk. No, she, no, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. Everybody been telling me that he won't let me talk. He tend to dig his shit. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. What everybody been telling me is that, I told you I can cut me and off. this is why this is why you're here. They said, no matter what you think about Aunt Glizzy, he was giving game and spitting the facts that you need to hear. This is why I got you back here. So I'm gonna let you speak. But this is what everybody was telling me. I don't know if everything you're saying is correct because I was there at certain situations. But go ahead. I'm just giving you life. I'm just giving you life ethics, bro. The last situation you've been through, they locked the door. Last situation I've been through, my friend died. He died. I held him. I see the blood coming out of his mouth. Like you were in a situation like that. I was in situation. That's why I'm telling you. The last situation I was in, somebody died. You nobody died in your situation. Wait, That's wait, why wait. you planned it. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I didn't been in. I didn't been in a situation where a back, like say a setup was there, and I didn't catch it. But it, I didn't catch it for me. But my best friend died. He's dead. But he got shot. I'm holding him. He bleeding and all that. That lets me know it's real. So when I explain the situation to you, and you still can joke about it, and it still got like you got laughter, you got laughter in it. I don't got no laughter in it. Ain't no laughter in it with me. I don't play this life. Like even with this podcast, all this, my life ain't to be played with. I'm never second you guessing nothing. You, let me tell you, I know how you play with your life. Any female that can DM me and tell me something about I heard in your neighborhood, this, that, and the third, she un out of female ethics. That girl is connected to some type of energy or something. She will backdoor you, bro. That's all I'm telling you, what, bro. What do you mean? Wait, just, My girlfriend don't even know how to think like that. My girlfriend what? don't even know how to tell a nigga. I know some niggas from your neighborhood that said you a bitch and you can't come outside. My girlfriend don't even know how to speak like that. Even how to speak like that, even to be in them terms or even to know no person that had them type of conversations, you're dangerous. That's a dangerous female. To even speak like that. Your mother don't know how to say that, do she? Your aunt don't know how to nah, say nah, that. My mom, no, no, nobody ever on this. Name situation. a female in your life, a real woman, that'll say something, no matter what the situation that is. Say what? Like, like what do you mean? Like, that'll tell another human being, I heard something about you being in a the hood. They said you couldn't come back to a hood or something. Anything connected to that type of talk. I think she's just receiving DMs it's from the fans. It's not receiving DMs from the fans or nothing. It's still, my girl can read that shit and still wouldn't even know what it means. It'd be like a foreign language, bro. She into that. You don't got to believe it, academics. All I'm telling you is, you the type of guy, if, if she sit on the internet, you're academic, she probably DM you some lovely, some, some, some. She, you just green, you birdie, you from the suburbs. She gonna come out there, put the head on you, give you some good pussy. You gonna come and see you a couple more times. You gonna feel good. Now you're like, oh, this my junk. She spent the night a couple times. Now she in there. Now that she in there, she put your ass together, but that shit ain't go as planned. You still kept her around. Now it's like, fuck it, this shit happen. I might just stay here and just reap the rewards of it. Now it's like people know her name connected to your name. It's like she got hey. more than what? Okay, and you know what? You're you're gonna be my my. I'm shot Glizzy. You ain't Glizzy now. Okay, that's what, that's what I told you. I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I was okay, all right. So you gonna break down some of this? I I ain't gonna lie. And by the way, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm 
I don't want to necessarily say I'm like defending her type shit, but like I you really defending I, her. I do think that you know, obviously if Shane closed that back door, it could have been crazy. But anyway, here's the thing. I do. I have thought about her friends. Like for example, that same girl. One time we get on a plane. Now everybody know it's big act. I'm, I'm traveling with two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. We flying private. We doing well, not private actually. <laughs> hell, no, hell no. We doing first class everything. You want to check Lizzie? She's saying you flying flying private, and then I caught a video of you creeping <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, no, no, no. United Airlines no, no, for one hundred twenty eight dollars. No, 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 no. I, I definitely do a uh, first class. Anyway, so we walk into the airport. Her friend call. It's the same friend that said that, that, that set the joint up. This is before the setup clearly, and. It was one of those situations. I think she, like we're we're moving through the airport type shit, so she got it on speakerphone. And I remember the nigga. I remember the girl saying to her, it "Was like, yo, yo, my man just shot up these niggas block last night." Like, and she's excited. And I was just, and I remember looking at my chick, and I'm like, "Why are your friend excited about her man doing shootouts like this? What's going on?" That was that was a little bit alarming. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me see my phone, RP. That was a little alarm. Is that a red flag or not? But I'm thinking every girl got a ghetto friend who be dating like a fucking they delinquent from, and a from, criminal. They from Virginia. Ain't nobody ghetto. I, they ain't got no ghetto in them. Fucking ghetto. You think they ghetto? They ghetto to you because you ain't from the ghetto. So. No, bro. I, I was like, I remember even looking at him like, yo, yo, what? I'm like, yo, why is your friend dating niggas who she's proud about shooting up shit? What's going on? I'm trying. I'm trying. That was alarming. I don't know that whole situation. You don't believe like you ain't. No, I believe it. You don't listen to me anyway. I am listening to you because that girl came straight to my DMs after the interview. Was like you don't believe me anyway. You don't believe none of that. No, no. I do think I think she was wrong for coming to your DMs. I, the only thing. Thank I, you. That's on. all. I, that's all. Wait, I, wait. I feel like I'm. I feel like I deserve apology no, no. or something. The only thing I think you know, I understand her point in. She was just trying to say you were making it seem like you fucked her and she didn't fuck. Why her. is academics girlfriend in my DMs, bro? At the interview because I got to think about her mindset. Her so mindset if I go sit down with Jay Z, Beyonce gonna DM me. Jay Z, can you please come? Do, like, can I just? I just want. I just want to say something wild about Beyonce so she can DM. I just want to Beyonce DM and screenshot. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. hold on. But, but but it's not Jay Z and Beyonce. It's like, yo, if I'm in the, dating a girl, in the hood, I, you the hood Jay Z though, I. Okay, you're right, but she's not the hood Beyonce. A nigga so, get so, on your page ten times or something. You could do more than Jay right now. No, you're right, but she's not the hood Beyonce. So she's like, yo, this is my nigga. He don't know too much about whatever, whatever. I don't want some stranger coming in and fucking up. Or lying to him about my, my, my like my past or like my reality with him. Like, nigga, I ain't trying to set him up. I ain't trying to do nothing. Yeah, I came from a certain area. Would you at least apologize for that to her? I'll, I'll apologize for her going in your DMs. Would you at least apologize for saying, for, for at least alluding to maybe the fact you fucked Hey, act. Uh, you my dog and all that. Fuck that girl. That's your girlfriend, bro. I ain't apologizing to yeah, your but, girlfriend, but, bro. Hold on. But, but you acknowledge that y'all didn't have sex. Fuck your girl, act. Nah, that's not what I'm asking. That bitch a gunner. What does that mean? You, the, the comments gonna tell you. What's a gunner? Gunner. She a gunner. Like, like gunner from Atlanta? Nah, a gunner from Atlanta might be hot. She a gunner. The comments will tell you what a gunner is. A shooter? Yeah, she, they know they doing the shooting and she catching. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. You, you, if you're not gonna, well, I think you should apologize. But you definitely gotta apologize to the whole Virginia. You if your Virginia girlfriend would, if I could show you the DMs, I got was first of all, it's your girlfriend. I told you I'm not gonna disrespect your girlfriend. That's 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 out of my power. That ain't even me. I try to keep it cordial, tell her like I'm sorry, whatever it is, let it go. When she started talking about street shit and guys did this and it, fuck your girl. Like I don't. She that's your girlfriend. She was. So I talking about guys from a neighborhood. And it, I'm really him in real life, like real live. Like I don't know what she talking about, what she heard. What, fuck Virginia, her, whoever else. Like I don't care. That's your girlfriend. And my girlfriend to beat the shit out of. And my girlfriend nah, is better. Nah, 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 nah. Than, we, and my we, girlfriend we, is better we, we than your girl. Day. Can we go on a double date? I don't want a double date with her. We a, go on a double date. Your girl not about to teach my girl how to sell pussy on a professional level? She don't sell pussy. Fuck out. Mm, she from Virginia. What's going on with the Virginia thing? What you mean? That pussy like UPS. They know what to do with the box. I watched you do a video and you said that you seen Virginia women. And by the way, hold on. There was some, yo, women were sending me. I thought I was LinkedIn. They were sending me their resume. Where they worked at. They said, yo, Aunt Glizzy is over here over whooping. He's capping. Virginia women are not known for selling that cat. 
Bro, you can fuck a Virginia school principal if you want to, bro. You probably get some head from a Virginia cafeteria lady. You talking about credentials because they got credentials. What credentials got to do with your hormones? What is it about Virginia, though? I don't like, know. It might be something in the water. They just want to fuck. You're lying. I swear. Like, it might just be bathing in fuck all. They told me you banned from Virginia, though. Shit, I might be, though. I do. Like, I might be. I ain't talking about for no niggas though. Like Virginia police, bro. I'm scared of shit of VA police. Like I swear, to, I don't want to. First of all, I'm not gonna be in Virginia. I'm not gonna disrespect Virginia. First of all, you know you go to jail for talking too bad about Virginia. I did that already. Like I said something about Virginia and went to jail. Like on accident. I apologize. So let me get this straight because you had told a story on your channel about you were dating a girl or you were seeing a girl from Virginia. Yeah, that was and my she, little. That was my little jump. I met her on the gram though. I ain't know she was selling pussy like. Three wow. months in a relationship. I didn't know. I, I was green. I was you. No, no, no. I would be able to tell. You don't think I'm able to tell? You ain't can't tell Why now. Why niggas keep laughing like this? Because you can't tell now. You moved up. In, you moved up into your house. Like I know you can't tell. You you passed can't tell. I never. No, 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 she sure, never she been in my house though. I always went to her house. Like you moved up in your house. Like she okay, know. So she seen the Lambo in the garage. Like and she got the little Insta stories in her, in her phone. The jump with the headrest with the uh with the Lamborghini logo. I ain't gonna lie. Lamb. Listen, yo. Chicks come to the crib. Once I get them the tour, they see the pool. They see the this. They see the million dollars in cars. You they lame see the, shit. Oh yeah, I got, I got like a whole custom you, basketball. You lame court. shit. I swear to God. Them same, no, nigga, that's fly shit. Them same bitches. I didn't, lame. Them same bitches. I didn't walk them up a project step. My mother paid twenty eight dollars rent, and I fucked them on a blow up bed, and I've been living there. They ain't said nothing about it. And okay. we ate hot pockets and TV dinners. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> I ain't got none of that shit. Hold on, on. let me ask you a question. You went in there and showed a bitch your whole house and how you living. I see why they calling them boys on you. You asked for that shit. No, no. I go in there, I show them the house, and yeah, she only. Listen, listen, listen. We all have a discernment face. Hold on, let me ask you a question. A girl never even going to my house to see how my house look. Ever since I had a house, a girl never been to my house. If she's mid, no. If she's bad as fuck, she might get to the crib. So you let looks get you to the crib? Oh my God, I'm saying I'm gonna send the baddest. Don't we all do that? Yeah, who the fuck is we all? If if, if you link with a girl, you do that as fuck. No condom. If she mid condom, let's keep it a bean. First of all, I'm gonna no. First of all, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I don't. I don't don't like condoms anyway. I don't like condoms. You fuck everything wrong. Not everything wrong. I got a girlfriend. I don't be. I don't be fucking everything. Ain't no everything wrong. Speaking of my girlfriend, here she go right here. Watch. Let me tell you. Hey, boo. My bad. My my bad. I got. I got you on. I got you on the mic real quick. Don't curse me out. Don't say nothing crazy. In in my house, the house we in right in the house. Forget any house in the house we in right now. How many people? How many of you have your friends been to my house? Um, this house that would be no. I'm talking about the house that we in right now. How many? How many of your friends have been to my house? Don't coach her. Oh, none. I'm gonna call you back. I'm not talking about she about to tell you my mother house when I was in my mother house and I was broke. She about to go back to explain like think her friend my house that I'm in right now. Her and her friends never been in my house ever, bro. Her fr- it's not nothing against her friends, bro. I can't control them. I don't know what they think. Friendships change. I don't or even just say this. I'm aunt. Just say all right. I might throw up. You got mad people trying to lie. You just say right if now I, you that. think that, bro. I'm nobody trying to do nothing to me, bro. Anything gonna happen? I can't stop it. I believe in God. Just say if I got hundred thousand dollars, I take a picture with hundred thousand dollars. Nobody know where I live at, but my girlfriend, let her friend come over my house. You take a picture with $100,000? i am just telling you, fuck the $100,000. You got a $300,000 truck in the driveway. That's more than $100,000. I'm that trying to get true. you to understand this. You got a $300,000 truck in the driveway. The girl, the girl just, I say the girl told her friend. Her friend just bragging. Oh, I'm about to go over DJ Academic. She just talking to her boyfriend or her brothers. I'm about to go over DJ Academic's house with my friend. She ain't even know she back doing you. Them niggas thinking like, oh yeah, she about to go over DJ Academic's house. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He already got her location. That's his little sister or that's her boyfriend or something. So as soon as that don't hit something, he don't know. That's your house, bruh. Now it's a back door pin together just off her talking, extra talking to the side. Like your girlfriend don't know. That girl might don't even know. But they put it together just by too much talking. Yo, you know funny thing as you're mentioning that? Been through this shit. And I'm gonna be a real nigga and I'm gonna admit it. I forgot what happened, but but I was just like, yo, here like five or ten bit. Yo, yo, go get some shit real quick from the mall. I never knew. She, I heard this afterwards. She told me afterwards. She's like, yeah. Because I'm like, yo, why these niggas really was running down like they thought I had like cash? She was like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I posted, like, remember you gave me blah, blah, blah. I posted on my close friends. So it's like, she over here like, yeah, I just got the bag from the nigga. I didn't know. It's just on the close friends. That's her and the little thought friends. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm learning now. So now I got to have access to the close friends. All right. 
It ain't even about access to a close friend. If you got, first of all, my, like, I don't need, like, keep talking about my girlfriend and shit, but she, I trained, like, this is my girl. You're going to be around me. At the end of the day, I know it's certain things I got to take care of because it's extra that come with me. I understand. So I can't put her in certain spots. I know she got to move a certain type of way, so I got to make sure she's comfortable in her world. But I ain't moving how you moving, bro. Like, my girl know what to do. Like, she know what, like, she know what's going what on. Mean? Like, don't y'all know you're in the close friends with the money and shit? Like, my girl ain't doing that shit, bro. Yeah, she, she show her ass in the close friends before she put some money out. I, I read her show her ass, literally. She can put her ass and her titties in the close friends before she put some money, bro. I don't be caring. I don't be into that. My girl, my friend. That's my partner in life. Like, forget the relationship part. Like, I don't care about the relationship, bro. That's my friend. Like, if I go to jail, she gonna take care of the business. Even if she with another nigga, she gonna take care of the business. I told you, the business is more than the relationship, bro. That's my friend. Like, I ain't with her. If she do something wrong, I ain't beefing with her about it. It's like, if you gonna fix it, we gonna fix it, get past it or whatever. Like, it is what it is. It ain't really no, it ain't what you on. I, you on some sucker shit. I ain't on no sucker shit. I'm a man. I ain't she got to play with me. some sucker shit like I was in a relationship, shit. bro. Well, you tender dick, bro. Why you, you making, yo, why y'all keep saying you got that one Because you got that one light-skinned joint and you just gone. Like, no, that's like, that's like a type it's like of girl. A person can hit you in the head with a gun all day and you be like, but it's my girl doing it. She just playing. It's like, I can steal a gun. She hit you in the head with it's dangerous. It's like, but it's my girl doing it. Like, no, I. What you mean? Basically, what I'm saying is you playing with danger and you underestimating it because it's your girlfriend doing it instead of another nigga doing it. If it was a nigga, if it was a random chick who did what she did, she'd oh, have yeah, been cut yeah. off. Oh, what? It's sex and love involved. You tender dick. That's what I mean. I'm not no tender dick. What is why I keep saying this shit? I'm telling you that you is. Man, stop playing. Oh my God. I'm telling you, you really is though. Like, I can't really I right. let me tell you how you tender dick. I'm gonna give you a tender what? dick, nigga. Your girlfriend can write me and feel like she can talk to me about street shit, defend herself or anything. My girlfriend gonna feel like she gonna get me to approach you. She gonna tell me what she wanna say and verify it through you. Okay, okay, all right. I'm glad you said that. Cause I think the reason why she writes you and real talk. Cause you tend to think you no, don't no, have no, no respect in your no, house. No, 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 she not fear no, no. you. No, no, she, not, she not fear of you not doing even. anything. No, no, not even. No, she's like, yo, why don't you clarify this with him? You know, you know my demeanor to women? I think all these chicks, like, I believe every rumor ever on a girl, any girl, like, I believe all these bitches be fucking. So, so it'd be like, yo, listen, I'm not about to go, go clarify publicly with Aunt Glizzy. Next thing I find out My on girl, some Soldier Boy blue face shit that it, he did fuck. You Hell no. Now that's tender dick. You explaining what tender dick is. No, I'm not about to go. Tender dick would be like me jumping out no. the window. Nah, nigga, you ain't doing this. A Bro, this ain't got nothing to do with me. A tender dick nigga is hearing rumors, believing them. Me? If my girlfriend fucked a hundred niggas, that's what the fuck she did. You feel what I'm saying? If I fucked a hundred bitches, that's what I did. That's my girlfriend. I still made it my girlfriend. So you feel what I'm saying? Nobody opinion can change how I look at nothing around me, bro. If it's before me, cool. Like if it's during me, I step away from her. Still not about to look at her different or I'm worrying about shit. I'm not worrying about the next thing to happen. I can hear something about my girl, your girl fuck such and such. I don't care. I'm no look that shit, bro. I got shit going on. You was in your feelings when Shock Lizzie pipes your girl up. I wasn't. I never stopped what? being his friend behind that. That wasn't the reason we stopped being friends. The bag though. What bag? I never got paid no money for no Shaq Lizzie. Yeah, but you thought it was the bag. You was thought, what the bag? bag? I stopped hanging with him. If I felt what? like that, I would have never stopped hanging with him. I'd have stayed to the bag game. I don't give a fuck about no money, bro. I told you I stand on morals and principles. You on some tender dick shit. Like I'm just gonna I keep it real with so. y'all. All right, okay. That's your girl. Fuck her. I, and I said it three times. I want you to. I want her to Why? see it. No, no. This is a, it's disrespectful for her to do that. To, I think we can go on a double date. Nah, hell nah. You on dates? Yeah, I go on dates. I don't, I don't go on double dates though. You on some Adam shit? No, don't say I'm on some Adam shit. You trying some Crip Mac? No, 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 no. Adam shit is like having a nigga fuck your bitch. Like, you that's trying? Like, you like, trying? Like, like, now you trying double date? No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that. Listen, I think I no think girl who friend backdoor a guy can be around me, the girl or her friend. So like, that's dead. Like that's how I move. If I willingly she know don't that, fuck with a girl no more. I don't give a fuck. If I know a back if even you was if a girl was connected to a situation with a back door in it, wherever girls was in it, I don't gotta deal with them. It's a million girls in this world. Why I gotta go the way well, it was a back door there? I don't, I don't even care. Back door and a girl name connected to it. I don't give a fuck if she was in it, not in it, around it, in the house at the time. I don't wanna deal with none of them. None of them. They all done. 
That's like shy, bro. My homeboy got the pistol took and I cut his ass off. You talking about a female, bro? This is a nigga about to grow up to be a star. This bitch ain't never some pussy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't be tripping on that shit. I told you tender that. It's a million light skinned girls out here that'll put it on you, bro. You academics, you drive a you drive a Lamborghini truck. There's nobody you can't get. You just don't feel like that because you're sitting in the house in the suburbs. Holy, you in there drunk, ain't got nothing going no, on. And you, you can go outside and touch the people. You can go to the club with me. I only go to the club, I promise you. I don't know club. one girl you can't hit. Like, I don't know one girl you can't hit. You got more than everybody. I've been doing this off a blow up bed, two hot pockets, and my mother in the other room. <laughs> and you talking about Lamborghini. Like, come on, man, stop playing. So you, you you go with Virginia. I think you should apologize to the Virginians as a whole, though. It's not Virginia. It's just the Richmond guys who keep. Right, first of all, let me tell you how to start. No, yeah, I have a few rappers who they really don't like you. Let me tell you what happened. They say you banned from like I don't know which part of Richmond, but you banned from part of it. I'm gonna tell you what happened. So I was on my live. And somebody came to my live and said, "But you do interviews. You don't never say nothing about Richmond. This, that, and the third. I say, "Bro, fuck Richmond. I don't know nobody from Richmond. I don't know no rapper from Richmond. My mother wouldn't have sex with nobody from Richmond. I wouldn't have talked to no girls from Richmond. Richmond girls ain't no. No nobody from there. That's the country. They cropped it. I don't fuck with Richmond. Some something and put it on the Virginia page, and it went. It went left from there. But this the kicker. Seven five seven. Shout out to Young Money Young. my homeboys. Like I know people in Virginia. It's just Richmond. Yeah, I don't know nobody in Virginia. Me. Yo, I got like ever fuck since Richmond. we did that interview. A few 757 numbers called me, nigga. I almost thought it was like like the CIA, nigga. I was like, I was answering them with caution. Like, you got me. Like, you know how many people hit me from Virginia? It was like, yo, bro, like, he's going crazy on us. Like, nah, not everybody's it like that. It ain't the whole Virginia, though, bro. When the foster bitches, yeah, but like fast rap. I got Virginia friends, bro. When I, I didn't even diss Virginia for real. I just kept going with it because I don't be backing down. But I never said nothing bad about Richmond until after they ran with it. I was like, fuck Richmond on this platform. Ah, uh -huh. Hold on, could you tell a story about your girl in Virginia you found out? Because I thought that was crazy. That was such a story, I'm like. She called me after that interview. Okay, tell I didn't a story. Answer, I didn't answer the phone. Oh, shit. I was embarrassed. No, tell a story, what happened? I was chilling. All right, I wrote her on, I, no, as a matter of fact, she wrote me. This girl wrote me. I ain't gonna her name. She wrote me. Long story short, I ended up getting a ride from my other man. He brought his man. That's my man too We all moved There's three of us in the car We drove down there We drove down there We chilling We hanging out I go in the room with her I do my thing My homeboys out there With her friends I never asked my homeboys What they did Oh you fucked your first night I don't be in the bed Oh come on I'm a, Oh yeah you, Virginia you, girls You from like You from a bird Yo, Why y'all be acting like you Bruh I just drove three hours And I ain't about to get no pussy You tripping I, That was established Before I got in the car Like oh, okay, okay. That was already established Before I even got in the car Like okay, okay, I drove I three that, hours yeah. Out here to do what I don't know Like oh. you know what I mean Like maybe like vibe Vibe Bro, this, First of all this VA I promise you If you going to see a girl in VA And you don't get no pussy You academics No stop it <laughs> Stop it Stop it I got the first night What's that talking about What's that talking about uh, Alright I, I, There's a few Virginia jerseys But like I thought They were good girl. I ain't gonna lie to you Until you said what you said I've had the greatest experience Other than the back door shit <laughs> I thought Virginia girls were like wifeys. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. There's some girl from Virginia right now. Yo, this thing done kilt it off you. This whole time I'm like, yo, Virginia girls, they're nice, sweet. They're like, there's so many beautiful girls from Virginia. And I'm it thinking, is, it they is, got though. morals. Now they cut that part poison out. my mind, they all sell pussy. I'm like, oh Virginia my God, Virginia bitches are bad. I said that too, though. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say, did, I said like, Virginia bitches are bad. I said that. Yeah, but you poison my mind. Yo, yo, I'm telling you. Uh, there's some beautiful girls from there. Holy! That now I'm like, damn. Here, here's also my na naivete, right? I thought when I hear selling pussy, I think of a bitch with five tooth missing on some Christian rock shit. Down back, damn near crackhead, bro. No, oh, a oh, bad oh, bitch oh, don't oh, sell oh, pussy. Oh, that's oh, what oh. I'm thinking. Oh, oh. That's my that, that's my thing. I was like, yo. Yeah, chicks will sell pussy if they don't look good, but you a bad bitch? You gonna diss for Krishan like that? Nigga, Krishan look like a crackhead. Krishan cute to me. You fuck her? Fly her to New York. I put what? my name all on her tits. Which, which, <laughs> nigga, she from Baltimore. And I bet you my girl don't, I, my girl gonna see this. I bet you my girl don't say nothing about this because she know this ain't nothing but the business. I'm, I'm a real nigga. I, you can't even do that. When you, that comment you, you just, that comment you just made about Virginia, you gonna have to go see, you had to see about that. Um, the comment I just made, I'm gonna be okay. 
Why are you trying to act like I ain't staying on business in my household, bro? Because you I don't, ain't. I don't like what he's trying to do. Because she came straight to my DMs. I'm like, I don't even wear the drawers in no, there. No, 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 no. I walked away and I didn't address that issue because I said. So she, so she addressed it. So no, she, she yeah, went into a man's DM. She went into a man's DM. Your I girlfriend was in another man's DM arguing and you left it there. That's some weird for, shit. I can't vouch for who fucked who and who didn't fuck. I'm me. just saying that my girl in a man's DM arguing my job as her boyfriend is to be there. Let's Let's go, babe. Whatever, I'm with you. Like, you oh, left man. her alone. You you left her alone. Like, you defend that. You're on your own. I don't know. Like, what type I don't of boyfriend? Know what's going on in Virginia? That DMV shit? I'm up in New Jersey. <laughs> That's the, yeah, you're damn right. That's what I said. Oh, they can come to New Jersey too. You know that. All right, man. So, what was you saying now? So, so you linked the girl. You said, uh, how long was you talking to her? Like, before. I was probably talking to her. That was my first time. That was my first time talking to her. Like she wrote me that day. I seen her that night. I went there one day with a couple Wait, of my friends. You linked her the same day. Yeah, like nighttime. I, I found a ride. She like come over her house. She had her own house. She got Virginia. Virginia. First of all, it's Virginia. Whatever I'm going to get into, I promise you. Even if it's dangerous, I'm with two. I'm with two guys. We good. We can handle it. Like, I feel like we can handle it. It's Virginia. I feel like we can handle it. Like we good. You know another thing that fucks me about Virginia? A lot of people in Virginia, like like play this. A chick you think is down bad in like, like New York City or, or Jersey, they got roommates and blah blah. Like a chick in Virginia would be like, she got her own little them situation. Only, that's, and it's cheap to live in Virginia. Them just like I fit, didn't know that. Them just like fifteen hundred. She had, first of all, she was paying fifteen. The girl had a two bedroom, fifteen hundred dollars. I paid three thousand dollars for a two bedroom. Now that I realized, but th at this time, this now, this before I even had a home, so I ain't know no prices are high. So the whole time she had a suite for real. And she ain't had no roommate. She was paying that shit, but they was but she was making that shit in three hours, bro. So you pulled up on her with your homies. You go do your thing. Everything is good. Are you thinking like yo, I'm about to dip now? What made you want a wife? Stay. Mm. They left. Oh, I'm, so you was tender dick then. That's some tender dick. You shit. call it tender dick. I'm in VA. I just hit a bad joint. Ain't shit going so on at fire, home. Right? I'm broke as shit. What am I about to go back home to my mother couch? Or am I about to lay with this bad ass joint all night? Or am I about to go back to Barbara house? And listen to her psychotic ass walk around the house all day just blowing me. No, I'm gonna stay here. Give me a little bit of peace. Mm. Came with a more and it came with a morning play and a shot of head. You ain't come on, man. Stop playing. Okay. Oh shit. So I stayed. My man's in the road out. They came, my man came back, got me like the next day, like later on that day. I ended up going home for like two more days. I told you I'm sleeping on the blow-up at my house. So now I'm realizing. I got a bed out VA now, and it's becoming like my bed. Am I gonna pick the blow up on the floor? I, it's a twin size joint. I'm six two feet hanging off the bottom of that joint like I'm on Titanic, like <laughs> paddling off that motherfucker. You hear me? I'm geeking for somebody to call me and get me all this money. And she gonna feed me like I can go in her refrigerator. <laughs> all I gotta do is go in there and put this on her and just be Aunt Glizzy. Come on, the best shit that happened ever. Wait, but I, I thought I thought you said like VA chicks, like I would imagine they want niggas to like spend on them. So you just giving her a dick and she's cool with it. I'm from the city. I'm a different type of nigga. Like, just be, a different type of nigga. me just being a DC nigga automatically wins. You got to spend no money on a VA bitch. Like, you just being from DC, you automatically win. Just you being for a DC nigga, they can say they fuck a DC nigga. I don't know. It's something about it. Yeah, it's like an unwritten raw, a law. It's like once they fuck a DC nigga, it's like cool. They made it like they made it. Like they made out their element. Now they can tell the bitches in their neighborhood. I just fuck a DC nigga. Like I'll be going to DC on the weekend. Really? Yeah. He's and she pulling up whatever, and she pulling up probably buying that nigga three fives to smoke with her. But she going back telling her friends, I was in DC this week. The whole time she put a nigga two zips of weed and all that. Okay, so you got a place to stay. How do you figure she's selling the pussy though? I don't figure she's selling the pussy. She got a second phone. All right, she always with these girls. She got a second phone. She don't have a job. She paying the bills. She leaving in and out this motherfucker. I don't know no Virginia girl with a job. That's the crazy part. She about doing it. out. I'll be wondering if there's jobs in Virginia. She doing. I don't know no Virginia girl with an actual job. She doing like, out calls. She I, do, what she, do you mean out calls? Like she take. I only I didn't know what out calls at the time. That means she going out. Like they calling her. She going out to like the a plumber type shit. Like yeah, you know? come, yeah, pull up. Fuck, come right back. She got that type of phone. But one night she went to sleep. Long story short, I went through her trap little work phone and it all was there. Everything is was that there. tender dick if you go into the phone? No, I went through the phone for my safety. Nigga, I didn't Yo, go. I ain't gonna lie to you. I went through a phone. I went through the phone for my safety. Like, first of all. What do you mean safety? 
She keep leaving in and out after this phone. What the fuck is in this phone? She selling pussy or dime bags? I want to know whichever one it is. I don't care. Whichever one it is, I want to know and I need to know. Something's going on in this phone. And if I, I don't give a fuck, I don't even care if it's niggas. It can be neck if it. I don't care about nothing. I just want to know what's going on because she ain't going to tell me. I found out what was going on and I was cool. Like, now that I know how to play the situation. No, stop playing. You was hurt. You start feeling that pain in the pit I, of your I was stomach. Only, Let's I was, give it a beat. I was only there like two, three months before I went through the phone. I don't Nigga. think I fell in love that fast. That's you don't tend to dick shit. You moved it. How long did it take before you let that girl move in your house? Less than a year. Man, why are we talking about me, man? That girl moved in your house less than a year. That is fucking insane. Man, so, so wait, wait. So two, three months you it fucking her. You don't care about her? 15 years to find out who the fuck the real Shaq Lizzie was. You moved that bitch in in one year. You wrong. Oh, holy. No, stop it. Hmm. So wait, wait. So, so wait. So you fucking her for two, three months. You must you in love. Let's be honest. How am I in love? This is uh, this is my uh, bro. I got a whole time to say part about. It. I Nigga, got other bitches, She giving bro. you. She giving you a nice like bed. You fucking every I'm time. Going, and I'm going back to the city and I'm fucking other bitches. Like I got, I got. Crum I'm crummy king, bro. Like the bit. I'm sorry to every girl that I ever dated. I'm gonna buy y'all all something for Valentine's Day. I make it to a bit millionaire. Just hit me. I owe y'all five hundred to a thousand dollars. Cause. I ain't never bought no bitches nothing. Like I don't be. I like before I got money. I ain't never bought no bitches. Nothing. Bitch was fucking me all the script. Like bitches. Like I'm the I'm the cool nigga. I, a bitch might go out with her nigga, go on a date, get him some pussy and all that, hop in the shower and come back and just kick it with a broke nigga. Like like they love the vibe. It's nah, the vibe. That. That's cap. You can't buy this vibe. Stop Bro, it. How many? I had these bitches on the Titanic. That blow up bed for like a motherfucking boat. I'm telling you. You you wasn't fucking no damn bitch on no goddamn motherfucking blow up bed. Hell no. What? I can tell you that. Like, inflatable. Hell no. I've been busting the shit out of them jumps for years. I can tell you the exact hour. Them jumps and, and the price they might have went up. Them jumps was twenty four dollars for like the sixteen foot jump. I'm telling you, shit hanging off that jump like. Okay, so you go to the phone, you see what's cracking on there. You say you're not hurt. So how do you how do you deal with that situation? I don't say nothing. I just play it cool. She come back in. I see what's in the phone. I end up going home. Now I'm going home. Now I'm not coming. Every you, you other mentioned to her at all. Fuck no. What? It's not. It's it's just a jump. I'm fucking. I, it's like she can have a boyfriend. I wouldn't give a fuck. We ain't there yet. It's just a jump. I'm fucking. It's like, I ain't really, like, I ain't emotionally attached. Are you saying, like, I love you and shit later or not? Nah. We just, we, barely, we ain't even kissing yet. It's like three months. This shit's still. Three months you ain't kissing the chick? You on some weird shit, bro. Nigga, you on kissing. Yo, stop it. You a weird. You're fucking a girl for three months and I kiss it. This is weird now. Not no bitch I just met off the internet and met nigga, her out, bro. Nigga, you're staying at her crib. It's bro. one thing if you, like, you show up every once in a Nigga, you're staying at her crib. I'm staying there every other night, early here and there. But once I found out she did that in the text messages, once I seen the phone, I stopped going every night. Now it's like every three nights, every day. I'm dawdling it out, trying to. I'm just going there just to get my nut off, real. Just whenever I need you, when I'm and I'm just in a bad situation, and a dead night, so I go there. Then I just end up stop going. There. I end up getting a girlfriend. Like I end up finding a girlfriend in the midst of that time. But it took months to separate from her. Though, like I was still seeing her for months, probably damn near a year, probably probably a year and a half after that. Like after I knew, but it was like once I knew, we stopped. Like once I knew. She like I told like I told her like I told her like I end up I told her I said because I kept seeing it like now it's like you can't like you just uh, literally if you think something ain't going on now because I've been here so much so I just told her and she kept it real like she came out like she she came up telling me what the fuck it was like what, what was she telling you she said like she sell pussy like she sell pussy like she just told you no way yeah like she sell pussy her home girl she she basically be like her home girls doing what she used she started off used to but these Is she, she don't do. She liked that. Like, and she got she got her ass done. Now she probably the best bitch in Virginia. I don't even want to say her name. I show you a picture. You'll go, you right, Let me see a picture, bro. I gotta see a picture of this shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Damn, it, I, 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 I might be a little bit green in thinking that it was ugly bitches who was just putting a price on it. I didn't think the bad joints. I mean, I mean, the celebrity joints, they're escorts, but like like a really true pretty girl or a bad bitch from the hood, I'd be thinking that yo, she know that. A athlete gonna come around that's gonna make it take her out of the situation. A rapper gonna take her out. She's not selling the fucking pussy just for nothing. You gotta think like this though. I, that's what you think from the outside looking in. But these females got self esteem problems for real. They got I right. say if a say if a car I'm gonna put in a perfect example for it. Say if a car is a Buick, right? It's a Buick engine. But you put a Buick engine in a Lamborghini. Is it a Lamborghini or is it still a, do it still move like a, Bu a Buick? It's still a Buick, right? Yeah. That bitch can have that bad body and all that. She still got the 
regular person soul. She still got the regular person intention. She still move like a regular. She got that Virginia program yeah, and that she basic still bitch fucking shit. still. She just bad. Yo, hey, listen, every woman from Virginia, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna treat y'all all like how Ang Lizzie done told me, man. He he done fucked it all up for the whole state. Like we gonna have to skip the Delaware or some shit like that. We gonna have to go. I don't know nothing about Delaware. Delaware. Like Maryland, Maryland, Maryland straight. Um, yeah, Maryland, Maryland straight. Maryland got Maryland. Maryland is Maryland. Damn, fucked it up for the whole Virginia. Maryland got shit. some cute girls. Though. I love little cute girl Maryland girls. You know what she like bad like that. So how much was she selling it for? I can't even see her page. She got me private. I mean, she got she got me blocked, but it go to. Uh, you could just see by the default though, like she was selling. Yeah, that shit was for the that shit was for the sale. You're lying. I swear to God, we got messages. Nah, I clicked on it. I see. I'm about to say, go. You go to them. You can see the messages that was shown to the screen. You're lying. You can see the message like our conversation, how we talk. Put your mother. I swear to God, my mother and she, but she got BBL and all that now. She done up. And she's selling pussy. Bro, look at read our messages. Like you don't read them out loud, but you see what we talk. Like how? Like do we still cool to this day? She says she love you though. Of course. She not selling pussy. How much she selling for? I don't know, bro. Back to the crazy part about it. Back in the day, that shit was like well, one fifty. I swear, I seen shit in for one fifty. I swear to God, I, I swear yeah, to God, I swear. Nah, she bad. I seen this shit for one fifty eighty dollars. I seen shit <laughs> nothing over two hundred. I swear to God, I, but this was like a couple years ago. It's probably like five years ago. Maybe she's the one that that really fucks you up on, on the whole Virginia thing because I don't think every girl from Virginia did that shit. Nah, right? she the one hit me. That's the one that. She basically she get she said I'm gonna pull you into this world and show you something you're gonna die, you're gonna die if you tell these secrets I might be on the chopping block right now like she might be in trouble that's why I can't tell you who her name is this might fuck up a billion dollar industry that we talking about right now like this shit way bigger than what you think like would, it's would some you, niggas in the background like if Aunt Lizzie don't shut the fuck up hold on would you leave about, a girl if she's selling pussy leave a girl if she's selling pussy first of all I only have one girl and if she's selling pussy she just like the fuck cause I got enough to buy it every day <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey everybody from Virginia man, I, I apologize man listen I, I don't know why this nigga done ruin y'all reputation on my damn podcast cause I really thought really highly of y'all and I actually thought of all the states that had beautiful women, of course, Florida is a special place, but damn, I thought Virginia was an amazing place. But now I know that Virginia, you just got to go with a MasterCard, a Visa, or a goddamn Discover card. It's nah, lit. they say cash. Cash? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cash. shit. And I swear to God, I went through the phone, so I seen the jump say, no, no, no credit cash. <laughs> I seen the jump say, and, they, and look, though, they want cash out deposit before they even get there to know you serious. Oh, they want a deposit? They, like, and they ain't coming without a deposit. They deposit ready. All right, Virginia, man. Let's see y'all done. Hey, uh, speaking of which, you know who's coming up here? Who? I think he want to respond to you. Who is he? Which one is it? Which one? Is it the fat guy I gave a shout out to? My fat truck's coming up here. Appreciate it. He got an interview because of who? No, no. Fat truck. It's like, coming up here to talk about. No, no, no. He, he got an interview because. No, he's coming up here to talk about his music. What music? His life story. Time out. What's the last Fat Trail song? What's the name of the song? Man, he I, he be with the slutty boys and I fuck with him. He don't be with the slutty boys no more. The slutty boys hide their own paperwork. He ain't hung with the boys in three years. You lying. I, bro. Holy. Bro. Yo, he about to come up here, man. Like, everybody knows he used to be with MMG. Like, we fuck with Fat Trail. And he come don't up be here sued to, by Rick Ross. Keep talking about Odysseys that he dropping shit. Like he, he, he Rick Ross, you ain't. Oh, Rick Ross made a video. Nigga, how do you know all this? Because I seen the Insta story. Rick Ross, it was a subliminal. Rick Ross said, "Man, it's some fat guy with dreads walking around out here. No, he didn't talking say about he my son trying to get free wings, stop wings. Shit, that ain't my son. I swear to God, I Yo, found a video for you. He wasn't talking about fat Joe. Who was, was he, he talking about? It's a fat guy, black guy. It's a fat kid walking around here talking about he want free wings, stop. He my son. He you talking about little Terrio? Rap a fat trail song real quick. Just one. I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm drunk in love. Alexa, could you play drunk in yeah, love? Yo, wait, wait, hold on. On some real shit though. So you know he's coming up here. I'm excited to have him. Okay. Um, I've, I I I do feel like you've definitely opened the door for the DMV. No, well, yeah, you've given some energy around. Like like people are wondering like what, what's all these rappers that we've because honestly, here's the thing. You guys don't have like that big media hub, so sometimes we just think th those rappers don't like to talk. Like I wouldn't even think that Fat Show would even want to have a conversation. He but would. I'm glad that he does. He would, cause I gave him 
the oop to give uh, you the conversation. Like he seen me on the platform. I said his name. I said, man, you bring him up here. You say, oh, I'm bring him. He reached out, huh? And there it go. Do you fuck with him? In real life, yeah. yeah. On the internet, no. What do you mean in real life, yeah? In real life, I wish he went. I hope he get off his ass and stop being a slouch. I really do this shit. Like when I go off on him, I might say he broke his shit so he can go get a rack of money. And be like nigga, I got this. And I want him to throw that shit in my face. I want him. To, I want him to fight back for real. It's like he balling up under. Uh, he he too. See, I can solve. He supposed to be on some. Go get a Lamborghini or something like turn up, bro. Like the fuck is you doing? We from DC, bro. You on some sucker shit. I be that's why I be testing they testing they waters. That's why I do these artists. I test their waters and they they crumble up, they ball up. Like, go turn up. Fetro's a fucking demon, my nigga. You'll see when he get here. What's up, academics? Man, man, happy to see you. And come in, smell like a cigarette. Some, I'm gonna call it before he come in. He gonna come in with a black t-shirt on. He Stop. gonna come. In, I swear to God, I'm gonna call his outfit. He only wear a black t-shirt. He gonna come in with a black t-shirt. He ain't gonna wear no designer no more because I'm hip to him. The fashion police gonna give his ass life in jail. He come in here with some motherfucking designer. <laughs> You should have seen that last Louis jacket. I swear to God, he had a Louis Vuitton jacket and Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna tell you where that motherfucker came from. He, he, yo, he's doing good. Though. Wait, hold on. Doing good where? I swear to God, ask his baby mother. Well, yeah, don't you think you kind of hating on other DC like rappers and shit? Like, because you putting them down. You're not like uplifting them. Which shit. DC rappers have I put like, down? Shock, Name Fetrell. one DC rapper I put down. Shock Lizzy Fetrell. Fetrell's from Virginia. Shock Lizzy's from Laurel. Fetrell, is he from Virginia? Ask him where he come from. Say, where did you reside? Where you grow up at? They said you're from Virginia. He gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you about your girl. Listen. Oh, a timeout. If a nigga had a field day in Virginia, it was trail. So if anybody fucked her, it was trail. I'm just here to tell you, like, if anybody made his rounds to Virginia, but you're slutty boy. No, no, no. No, listen. I had a, I had my talk with her. She we good. Ain't nobody touched her. Academics. Only one. Do this to you. I ain't No, 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 no. You right. don't want me to do it? No, wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna troll. This is no trolling. When your girlfriend, all right, the way my Instagram work, I got something called inside man, right? So basically when I get into it. What the fuck is inside man? It'd be like inside information. Only a person know that the person know. Like only, I can know some information on you that only you know and probably one other person. You'd be like, damn, or only you know. You'd be like, damn. Long story short, I got into it with your girlfriend, right? On my Insta story, and she was at me on her Insta story. So you know like the people that don't like your girlfriend from the fake pages come tell me everything. I actually have a video. I'm going to give it to you. I got locked up for videos, but I'm actually going to send it to you so you think your girlfriend is so out of clear. It's not me. It have nothing to do with me. But actually, I can show you some stuff for your girlfriend if you think she's just so What innocent. are you doing? I ain't gonna play it on air and stuff no, like that. No, just pass it on here to me. No, nah, we're gonna wait till behind the scenes. We're gonna do that you after. See, this is why you get mad. Because this nigga just say some shit. <laughs> you just say some shit. I promise you, academics. I <laughs> went to jail for this. This is why I can't. I went to jail. Listen to me. I went to jail. I'm gonna cut this part. I'm gonna cut this part. I'm gonna cut this part. Show went, me the video. I went to jail in Virginia exactly for this. <laughs> Yo. You can cut the part out, but she can still go do what she do. So I behind the scenes, man, I got you. No, listen to me, I, I'm not trolling. This guy is trolling. I got all the information on your girlfriend. It's nothing bad. It's nothing since you've been with her, but she's not as as you think. She's definitely one of them. I promise you. I'm trying to get my research done. It's your girlfriend. If you got a girl in your house and you ain't did your research, I'm just no, I did the research, but, but, but hold on. Here's hey, bro. My girl, if, you I, date a girl, I, if you date a girl from New Mexico. And I'm going to ask her, how many niggas you fuck? She going to say, I only fuck 30 niggas. I'm going to times that by 30. Whoa, I'm going nah, to times that by 30. Ain't no girl going to table to 10. I'm just here to tell you. I'm ain't no girl going to table to 10. If you, think, if you think 30 is wild, you crazy. 30 ain't wild to me. If No, nah, I'm saying if a bitch fuck... First of all, I've been on this year. I been, that's one a year. I've been, I been here 30 years. 30? Girl, you I'm, cool? Hey, bro, I'm with the number I'm in. Like, God damn. I'm going to give her some type of break. She won't get her issue off. I'm just talking about girls in general. Bro, if she had 30, what the fuck I'm at? I've been here 30 years, all right? Maybe she was holding it. She, she was like, you know what I mean? Keeping it low key. I'm just here to tell you, man. Girls are just like niggas, bro. The same amount you want to fuck, they want to fuck. Same how many times you fuck, they fuck, bro. You, they just ain't going to tell you. They like, they got cats, bro. They got nine lives. You don't know about them nine lives. You only got one. All right, man. Let's bring back the Fat Trail, man. So, so, so you're saying, uh, what do you want me to ask Fat Trail when you get here? Ask Fat Trail why he got caught in live casino with that counterfeit money. He ain't getting caught with no Ask him no. if he swear he signed a Rick Ross. How did he go to jail for DUI? Like, how you get six months for DUI? Like, who is your lawyer, Mr. Libowitz? He got, you got six months he for did. DUI? That's what I said. Holy. What? Yeah. I don't know who his lawyer was. I think he got his lawyer. I think he got his lawyer the same place he got his charge. Like, it was downstairs in that basement. He was like, fuck it, lawyer's this way. And he just went over oh, Okay, just pick one. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, fucking way. Um, what else? 
Nah, for real, on the real. Man, they gotta hate you in, in DC, man. Nah, they don't hate you. You pop out to any clubs? I don't go to the club. They pay me some money, yeah, but you, you be having security. Mm. You be having the same two homies, like you already got no security. Who's the security of you? Me. Still? Fuck, shoot up, oh shoot. Nah, you know what I'm telling you? Once you know for busting that out, you ain't got to do it no more though. No funny though. I, once you know, imagine this. If you know it's a building and you can go in there and make it through the door and you go in another building and you know it's a bomb in that motherfucker. Is you about to run to the building with the bomb? I never seen nobody run into a bomb. You ain't looking for no bomb issue? Because shit going to blow up once you get there. I don't know which way it's going to blow up, but something's going to blow up. Has, has Wale hit you up? Actually, he did. Really? Actually, he did. He told you to stop fucking lying. No, it was, it was he actually called through somebody and asked, could I contact him? And I told him no. Like, we got a mutual friend. Maybe he's trying to resolve some shit. What is there to resolve? I asked him for a verse when 2016, when he was popping, and he told me he couldn't do it because of Shaq Lizzie. What the fuck do we want to resolve? It's not my fault Puff Daddy has his ankles over a balcony. He ain't saying nothing to Puff Daddy. No, because you know he did it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit surprised that he like he's been really quiet since this whole thing happened. Like it's, it's kind of been spooky. He talking Wale to his PR has been team. outspoken a lot in like in his career. He's been mad at outspoken. I've never seen him this quiet. Lotus flower bombs, fireflies in the rain. They hung up high. They told him Cassie cannot fall in love. So, and another thing I did have to ask you about that question. Like that, that scenario, because I thought it was the situation that she mentioned in her lawsuit. I don't even know about the lawsuit. I heard that in the comments. I can't react. The one that somebody got hung over a balcony, at least in the lawsuit, was after her like 29th birthday or something like that. Have you seen a Puff Daddy clip when the DJ passed him a laptop and he said, because if this was the old me back in the day, I would have yeah, yeah, hung yeah. him up. The- now he did say that. Oh, so he's hung multiple niggas off the balcony type shit. <laughs> yeah, that's his thing. That's what he knew. Like, that's just put the stamp on it. That's his signature. Why don't you just tell Wally to come clean, man? Like, like, what? You think he's scared of Puff Daddy? Of course he's scared of Puff Daddy. Are you scared of Puff? Everybody gotta be a little scared of Puff. Why would I be scared of Puff? I ain't doing none of him. Puff ain't on my mind. You exposing the fact that he's hanging niggas off the balcony. He said that out his mouth on the real video. If this was me back in the day, I'd have hung him off the balcony. That ain't nothing he ain't said himself. What if I said about Puff that he didn't say himself? Nothing. Hmm. Play that video one more time. Shockley's ever got invited to any free calls? What free calls? The free calls. You, you hear that? They said the Jaru went to one. Um. Now that you speaking about it, oh hell yeah! He just went to uh Diddy going away party. You ain't see Shot with Drake. Shot just was with Drake. Shot just took a picture with Drake. You want time out? Just how I know. Now don't search until yet. Where, if Drake was on a vacation, what would he vacation and be in his songs? Where do we hang out? Like in Turks or some shit? Shaq Lizzie went to Turks for his birthday to go take a picture with Drake on some fan groupie shit. You're lying. If you know Drake being Turks, how the fuck you know that's where they took the picture at? In what year, though? Three days ago. You're lying. Shaq Lizzie's birthday. Shaq did some fan shit. Went to Drake. Shaq went to Turks and Caicos because he know Drake there and been crucifying him all over Instagram and all over the platforms. So he's like, I gotta do something to come back. He went and took a groupie picture with Drake like... I thought Drake was trying to fuck him, to be honest, though. I thought Drake was going to fuck him. No, no, Drake straight, nigga. Drake, like, Drake not one of those. Drake get his nails done? Nah. Drake making too much money not to be in one of them parties with a uh, thumb up his ass. I'm just here to tell you. Him, him, him and Diddy fought over that shit. He don't like them type of parties. I ain't my favorite rapper, so, I like. Ain't, I ain't even trying to get into it with Drake. I'm just saying, though. I fuck with Drake. I fuck so, with so Drake. So, Shockley's, he was in Turks with Drake. I'm a, I'm a Drake's son fan. What's the Drake's son name? Adonis. I seen him rap. Like, not rap, but he did the intro to one yeah. of the songs. I fuck with it. And I like his little style. Like, a real kid. Has Shock Lizzie hit you up? He got to hate you. Hate me? Yeah, of course he hate me. If I'm Shock Lizzie, I pay a hitman to kill you. He didn't know he's Shock. Mm, damn. Edit that out. But what I'm here to tell you is, act. That shit don't work. Imagine you paying somebody to kill me and they shoot from fucking five football fields away because they scared of a nigga like me. Like, he warned him, like, this is my ex. This is how you got to approach him. You got to catch him with his... Because if he catch you, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, you ain't got to worry about catching the dog. You got to worry about the dog catching your ass. Last nigga tried to assassinate me. I swear to God, he shot so far away. He probably shot from the parking lot to where this at. But he told y'all he... They shot at you before? Some, I ain't going to say they. I ain't got nothing to do with no Shaq Lizzie shit, but I just say in the streets. You press charges, all right? I'm definitely pressing. My best friend died. Really? 
Yeah. Oh damn. No, I ain't pressing. You cooperate. You got to cooperate. Cooperate what? Niggas got in jail or no? Yeah, them niggas went to jail. Like on, they got caught like a ring camera or something. I don't know them niggas though. Like I don't know them. The police asked me, did I know them? I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them at all. I be waiting for them questions. You know them niggas. Yep. I wasn't even trying to. Crazy part about it though, I. When you come from, you waiting on the questions. I'm trying to run from the questions. What? I know the questions coming. I'm running so motherfucking much. They got a real lie. Lock me up just to give me a subpoena. Like, I got to go to jail just to get me to question. Like, like you, that's how bad I'm going. Like, yeah, you got to come. You got what? I got to, this got to be in black and white that I got to come down here and talk to you. Shit. Them and niggas, then when I get there, I still ain't talking. Shit, them niggas from Virginia, they, they, uh, they sent me that there's a hearing that I could go to on the 5th. I was going to go on vacation. Cancel the vacation. I got to be in court. <laughs> I got to make sure. I got to make sure my, I got to make sure my face gets seen. I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm serious. That is crazy. I, I told everybody I was going on vacation right after the New Year's. Now I gotta be in court. Uh, that's deep. But six nine, your man though, so I don't feel. That's like, not telling. That's like that's justice. You be with Daniel, so shit. I, I'm gonna ask him for some tips before I like. I don't know if I could take the stand that day. I think they said I could write like a long letter, but shit, I'm I'm preparing to take the stand. Cash, you know me? what happened? You on six nine really was fucking. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Who would you even hear that from? The blogs, man. I just be in the blogs. You know I'm a fan. Does that even I'm sound like, I'm man, fan. I'm over here. I'm over here chasing light skin bitches from Virginia. Does I'm, that look like I'm fucking niggas, bro? I'm, like, come on I'm now. I'm trolling academics. Come on. I, I made, holy. I, I made a video. You know that. Hey, the sad part about that. You know, I, I made a video, though. That shit, I never believed that shit. I just, I'm trolling. I never no, believed that shit. No way. his girlfriend, which, by the way, I think that was foul. Here's my thing. So his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend broke up with him. And his, like, listen, she was with the nigga, tatted the nigga named Atoms. Now she, because she broke up and she called him a rat. You can't call him a rat no more. You used to be getting a rat dick, flying on a rat plane, <laughs> driving around with the rat, with the rat bodyguard. You she, can't call him a rat. She you, living in a rat trap. You in a rat trap. <laughs> she talking all type of shit like, yeah, I'm a real bitch from the hood. Like, no, you weren't. I saw you. You was laid up under that nigga. Let's stop playing. That's true. But yeah, no, no. I mean, um. Uh, to keep it, I don't even think six nine a rat no more. Like, I think that shit wore off. Like ratting is a something that kind of like, like do you think gunners a rat? You don't think gunners no goddamn rat, do you? All right, on the street side of things, I'm not a street guy anymore, so I'm not gonna speak. I feel on like that. you say that because you know you might have to tell a nigga. I'm dig riding. I'm trying to get a feature. Oh, from who gunner? Yeah, I'm trying to get a feature. Like fuck all I that. I get you a six nine feature. <sighs> nah, shit, dude, come with the million off like Kodak, man. Listen, nah, I ain't giving no million. Time out, time out, time out, time out. My stamp, like I'm just here to tell you, like you think that yak shit did something. I'm just here to tell you, I'm him in real life. If he give me a million dollars, we can do a song. I swear to God. Me, all right, me, give me a million hundred thousand. Is he running through all the clubs in DC? We, you gotta make sure he can run through the trenches. Now. Not for a hundred, you gotta give me a million because I'm gonna have to a get million? five. I gotta get five hundred. That's what Kodak got, nigga. Kodak was dancing in the video and shit, snorting coke, all that shit. They wasn't running through the trenches. Me taking six nine to the streets of DC, they're gonna tell me you got one hour. No, you actually got 69 minutes to do what the fuck you want to do. And I got to give out 500,000. I'm talking about I got to go 50,000 every nah, neighborhood no. and just tell everybody for this one hour, y'all go do something else and don't worry about nothing egg glizzy got going so on. you're telling me for a million dollars, first of all, a million dollars, six nine got to come to the hood and he got to sleep on the same blow of matches because he got to get his points. He from the streets too. Because um, he going to be claiming it in the song. Oh, just a second. My mother might kill that nigga though. My mother against What? Him. My mother kill that nigga. I thought they love rats in DC. Where? Didn't Alpo like tell on DC? Alpo dead. But he got killed in New York. They love him in, New in DC. Alpo ain't from DC? But he, he told on a couple niggas out there, Leslie. Told on a couple niggas because he know he ain't got Wayne Perry niggas from out there? Yeah. I'll be watching the movies. Yeah, he, he, the realest. Yeah, I, I heard about him. Uh -huh. but, 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 but I heard Alpo was like one of them. What? Accepted. Well, who was Alpo without Wayne? But hold on, wait, wait, wait. You can't, we can't even talk about this. You just say you, you're trying to get a feature from Gunner. What's the difference between gun and like six nine? First of all, I'm not in the streets with them guys. I ain't about to. First of all, I'm not hopping in the cars with anybody. I'm not on nothing. I'm a civilian. I, a feature from Gunner, I'm just looking at the payout on the back of my distro kid. Like, let's do it. I'm with it. Like, fuck what they talk about. So you don't care about that? I don't give a fuck about them saying Gunner hot. Like, I suppose Shaq Glizzy come on and be like, I've been told you I think it was just, that, that, that nigga aunt was like Fugazi type shit. Fugazi, cause a song they comparing songs to sliding in cars and shit, like like shooting niggas up in songs and shit. Yeah, that's oh, I know. 
I don't mix the street with gangsta shit. Like, a rapper is a rapper to me. Like, I'm going to treat all rappers like they hot anyway. I never do no street shit with a rapper anyway. So it's like, why I cut gun off? Okay, if you were the best friend of, like, say, I don't know, like, my man Soldier Boy, right? Did you see the shit with Soldier Boy and um, Blueface? Blueface? Of course. I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was very interesting, but I, it was kind of it was kind of telling just off the fact everybody be biased to my man Blueface. Like when he pop his shit, they don't never give him his flowers for popping this shit. He popped his shit on that boy. Nah, nah, he, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, but it seemed like he's on crash out time though, bro. I ain't and also, I didn't know he actually fucked homie's baby mama. He fucked your girl too. No, he did, nigga. Oh, that's what he said. He, he never met her. Yo, fly her to New York, pin his name all on her tits. Yo, listen, listen. listen. Yo, I got, listen, you see, I'm a type of nigga just because I don't date celebrity girls. So I'm going to find That's a girl. That's because you, your self-esteem low, you think you can't get them. No, no, I can. But here's the thing. It's for the exact reason why you saying that's why I don't. So instead it, of. You know, play this. I talk so much shit. Instead of Ari Fletcher, you would take. Yes. Shake yes. You know why I'm going to tell you why? Because when I'm talking <laughs> shit, I, I know I can't beef with, like, play this. If I'm dating a girl. And she said, and she tells me before I walk in this room, yo, just let you know, I fuck Anglissy and I fuck the nigga who be editing all his videos. When I come in this room, y'all two niggas be like, yo, act you a bitch. I'm gonna ignore both of y'all and I'm gonna look at the other two niggas. What y'all niggas wanna do? You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't beef with a nigga that done fucked your bitch. So that's the thing. I love to beef too much and I love to argue that when I know a nigga really done piped your chick, you can't say shit. Shall I fuck my old girl? He ain't saying nothing to me. Well, well, it's a little bit more complicated because, like, you, you used to hold him down. He got robbed. All that type of stuff. What I'm trying to say generally, oh. if 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 a nigga fucks your girl, you don't want to get into it with him. Be nah, honest. you don't. You don't. Like, you don't. It, it, you don't. It, it, even if you definitely gonna pro you gonna approach with caution. Of course, of because course. yo, he's gonna tell you something that you don't even want to hear, and your girl never told. And you. even if he lying, you just knowing they was in the same situation. Exactly. Pretty, it can go. Oh, I don't think that far though. That's why you fucking with your brain too much. You thinking too much. Nah, nah I'm definitely thinking like yo, I'm because not, I've realized that I'm not even into him. Yeah, like, I've realized I ain't into what you into, bro. I'm so much on the money, bro. I don't give a fuck what a bitch doing. Like it I, is what it is. Just do what I, I do when I need you. Is this tender dick behavior? You got to tell me this. So my ex, right? Remember, I'm finding girls that nobody in the industry don't knew. I'm the first in the, I always say I'm the industry starter dick. You feel me? <laughs> I'm the first dick she get to get her on her way. I give her the training wheels, everything, the, the training, everything. Cool. So now I'm with this girl, but she looking good. She a little Spanish joint. You know what I mean? Everybody start whatever. Then I start seeing people who I know kind of DM her, but I thought that's a little bit disrespect because I know I'm with her. Y'all don't know this bitch from a can of paint except for me with me. Here's what happened. One day, because, you know, she's thinking she a model this and third, she get invited to a Young Thug video shoot. She come back from the video shoot. It was Young Thug and T.I. They were doing some shoot. It wasn't about uh, all about, about the money, which is the, their popular song. It's another song. And she come back and she say, yeah, you yeah, know, nah, it was cool, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, all right, anything, you know, like, you know, just give me the recap. She was like, I ain't gonna lie. I think Young Thug looked at me and he was like, yo, he just said randomly after I told her, I told him, I said, yo, I'm your girl. He said, damn, I ain't never fucked a blogger nigga bitch before. And, and I, I was thinking, I'm like, is that disrespect or is... <laughs> I'm still thinking. Because this whole time, I don't know whether to say free Jeffrey or keep that name. I'm, I'm, I'm on that type of time. I'm like, yo, hold on. Is this, did he try to fuck my, wait, hold on. What, what am Holy. I supposed to, break it down for me. I don't know, like. You were, first of all, to save you the embarrassment. No, no, no. Ain't no fuck the You weren't even supposed to take her in that type of situation. No, no. Well, she told me, listen, listen. She one of them girls who were like, you see, I don't do no shit where like a girl get with me and she thinks she about to get an allowance every Friday. Like, yo, we're like, she's getting a check just to, nah, shorty. Listen, That's you don't have a lifestyle that. with me, but if you got dreams and goals, you can still pursue it. So she like, well, you know, I want to be like a model. All right, cool. She said, yo, you know, they're hitting me to be in music videos. They don't give me a check. So I ain't going to tell her don't be so in yo, So do she become your baby mother. Your baby mother can be in the music video. Not my baby mother. Though. But it can potentially no, be your baby once, mother. Once, it's yeah, your girl. Once my baby in your bed, Belly is over. All I'm telling you is, I right, let me give you some free game. If you find that one bitch you like, that you really like her, and all that she can follow her career and all that, you lock her in. You accommodate her. You do the extra, so she don't got to do the extra. You do the extra, so she don't need it from nobody else. And you try to give as much you can. Just put your all into her, even if it go wrong, because this is the one you but believe it's in. But respect, though, too. Like, you know what I mean, like, I'm expecting, yeah, y'all know I'm in the industry just like y'all. Y'all not supposed to say that to my chick because I ain't going to say that to y'all chick type shit. 
first of all, like, say I. Right. I feel like he was also like putting me down a little bit, like yo, I I, like yo, oh, oh, that's his bitch, or oh, everybody. Can fuck. I ain't throwing no shots or putting you down, but I'm just saying that's just a scenario. Say if little baby was in here, right? And he was like, apologize to Jada Waiter. I'd be like, Jada Waiter, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I ain't mean to do that, baby, my man. Academics be like, apologize to this girl, man. Fuck academics, girl. You feel what I'm saying? Wait, like what? a different vibe. Oh, you scared of baby? No, it's not that I'm scared of baby. Like, it's just like, you don't got no respect in your household, so why the fuck would I respect her? Nigga, what are you talking about? She can DM me. Nigga, she was cussing you out. You know these girls be acting like Chris Rock? Academics. Chris Rock be beefing with niggas too. She be doing whatever. Want me to tell you why your girl should never be in another man's DM? What if I'd have sent her back a picture of my wood? Now your girl seen my wood because she in my DMs. Not because I sent it to her. She was in my DMs. What if I just would have sent her a wood shot? Did not say nothing else. She sent her a boom. She'd open that joint, hit her straight in her face, bow, because she wasn't playing my DMs. <laughs> Tell her stay out of them jumps. Yeah, but these girls are ratchet nowadays, man. Holy. That's what she going to say. Holy. She going to come to the next interview. After that, she had to come see me in person. No, no. Listen, no, no. All she cared about was for you to just say, you know, there was no sexual And also you know, Man Ray J I hit it first No She also was just like Yo You know the first thing She told me Cause she was trying To make it like federal She was like yo Let's do the math on it She said When the day was popping With the glizzy gang I was 14 So if that nigga's even Thinking about he hit it He basically just Admitted to another crime With him and Shy And apparently They've been spiking drinks Since how old? How old is she right now? Uh 23 So let's go back 2015. How old are you? Uh, 32. You older than me, so you do the motherfucking math. Yeah, but I'm fucking with her now. I ain't fucking with her. Like, look, look, she's saying, no, no. I'm just saying, the math is still ain't no, math. She's saying, if I was supposed to run into them when they were running D.C., that would be 2015, 2016, uh, right? How old was I in 2015? You tell me. I was a minor. Were you? I was a minor. How old are you? Don't worry about it. I'm not your age. You older than me. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you. So now you're stuck. Now you, lie, man. now you stuck. Now you stuck. Nah. Holy. No. First of all, no, no. First time out though. Act. That's crazy though, bro. What? You 32 dating a 23 year old. If that was my little sister, I stick my foot in your ass. Hell no. Nah. That's normal, nigga. Bro, my little sister, 23. She can't date you, nigga. You a whole man. Like my little sister got some development to do in the brain. She ain't your even sure enough. Can't date a nigga in her 30s. Fuck no. She better go date a 23 year old, 25 year old. The like the highs. No nigga in his 30s for what? Nah, you crazy. You crazy. She like, needs benefits. She moves. Once your girl, once your sister, your 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 nephew, even your daughter hit 21, you better get yourself out of her goddamn business. Nah. 21, if she could take shots with a nigga, she could take a whole dick, man. I you got to get out of her business. You was 12 years old before that girl was born. It don't matter because if you look at look at Jay-Z and Beyonce, he was 20 before she was born. Academics. Jay-Z was, tw hold on, Jay-Z was, was 20 before Beyonce was born. You can have a baby at 12. You could have had a child before she was yeah, a child. That, hold on, that sound good. It's not about. It's not sound, that's facts. Hold on, hold on. It, 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 listen, it sound good. Look, look at look at um Robert De Niro. That nigga just had a kid like it, like motherfucking like 80. It's not about the age difference. You dating a twenty three year old because you fear Bro. of a thirty two year old. A thirty two nah, year old, a thirty two year old years. woman will not play with DJ Academics. Your shit'll be bald headed here, no, no, no. my granny. Yeah. You gonna uh, go get your twenty three year old that's gone off the glitz glamour of the fame and the Lamborghini truck. Yeah. It makes sense. A thirty two year old woman can't have kids, man. I'm trying to have a whole family, man. You date a thirty two year old woman, her ex is shriveled up, nigga. Like she is donezo, menopause. You thirty two. She's gonna be out. Of, yeah, but men and women, we not the same. All right. I'm gonna give you a scenario. No, 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 it's a merch. Like, if you look at any, usually there's about a 10 year gap between most older couples, and the reason why is men, we gonna date on fertility. Your girlfriend's woman, 23. Yeah. It's insane. What's the problem? What's the problem? How old's your girl? Like 28. Oh, damn. Yo, see, she on the clock. Y'all got kids? No. You gotta get her pregnant quick, brother. See, this is why you, you gotta date. For me, anything over 21, we good money. Right now, anything over 21. But if I date a girl who's 30, first of all, here's the thing. You oh, trying I'm to a, have yeah, I'm going to do the math for you. I'm going to do the math for you. Your baby mother last name going to be oh. Glizzy? No, no. It's crazy. First of all, it's going to be my. You wild. Hold on. First of all, you dating a girl who's 28, 
she already feel the eggs sizzling up. It's like it's like cracking an egg when it's like 120 degrees in Arizona on the side of the sidewalk. That shit is like, it might turn a scrambled egg. So she looking at you like, yo, when you finna give me kiss? Now, you already gotta vet her for a little bit. So you gotta take two years of fucking her, investigating her past, find out she could be a good mother, find out if she got like any type of genetic defects that you gotta bring a kid to this world. By the time you do that, she's already putting pressure on you. She want a ring, she want a baby. No. You gotta get him at the age where at least academics a nigga type of nigga. He going on dates, y'all. And when he gets to his date, the guy can, they put their order and they order drinks. They call his girlfriend every time. Like she cannot stop getting called. I promise you, they be calling the shit out. Bro, they only understand it. This nigga, what, are you, your girl's older than you? No. Twenty eight? Nah, I ain't dating no girl at twenty eight. It's over. Uh. Uh-uh. I fuck her, but not twenty eight. Yo, twenty eight. Yo, you're putting me up against the clock. Like, yo, yo, this is like If LeBron, you on young, if you on young yo, girls, yo, yo. you say that. Nah, nah. I, yo, no, if no. you on them young girls, you say that. I ain't on yo, young bitches. Dating a chick that's like 28, 29 is like Kyrie dribbling the ball for 20 seconds and passing you for four seconds. Like, nigga, make a decision. Shoot or do something with it. Cause you ain't got much time to think. Nigga, I need to figure out what the fuck is going on with these chicks, man. There's all type of shit going on here. These bitches is ratchet. They don't know how to act. If you put yourself with a chick that's that's at that point, especially if she got kids. If she got kids, maybe she'll want to have kids. Bro, your my girlfriend can't even rent a car. Huh? Your girlfriend can't even rent a car. She don't pay for shit. She can't rent a car, though. Like, she that childish. She can't pay for shit. She's she so young, she shit. can't even rent a car. She don't pay for shit. You can't rent a car. I'll rent a car. She can't rent a car. What if you ain't there? She, she can't even rent a car. She should be renting a car on some you shit, yeah. I feel like Aunt Glizzy is now confirming to me that yo, he's realizing that. Listen, and by the way, girlfriend well, is gonna. You know, if 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 your girl at this point in her life, like if if she's gonna be the one you end up with, that's good. But you know how mad she gonna be if you waste two years of her life and then she's now thirty and she got to be single again. I don't really care about these bitches how they feel. Them are the best two years of her life. She ain't never had nothing until she met a nigga like me. <laughs> Let's talk damn, about the good. Shit, it. damn man. I told you I don't got a heart. I- you love your girl though. Come on now. Yeah, I love my girl. What the fuck? Did you give a kidney for her type shit? Fuck no, she gone. The only person getting a kidney is Bob. Right? And I said on camera, my girlfriend need a kidney. I swear to God, I'll see you when I get there, cause that bitch ain't giving me one. What? I wouldn't even want her kidney. A lung, some shit like that. Could you live without a lung? You can yeah. live without a kidney too. Yeah. No, nah, I give her a kidney. You can live without a kidney. You give her a kidney. No, nah, yeah, I give her a kidney. Hell yeah, a kidney. I'm thinking like some shit. You, got, I gotta go to give her. <laughs> Fuck no, I'm never going to leave her. It's to definitely take her, leave me at all in every situation. Mm. All right, I'm seeing it though. I'm seeing. I, I I still reject the whole thing of being tender dicked and everything. But uh, you tend to hey, dick, yo, yeah. hey, what's your relationship? I heard you banned out of um Chicago, bro. Somebody died in Chicago. I heard you got banned. Banned from Chicago. Bro, I, I'm banned from everywhere. I, I get banned from a new... I was banned from L.A. last month. This month is the Chicago. Well, well I, I was hearing you talk about... um. Well, I hear, they were talking about you. I was hearing my man um 600 Breezy, Mimo 600. They were talking about you. And I, I couldn't tell if, you know what I mean, if you if, if you pulled up out there. Well, at least they're in L.A. now. You would get backdoored or what? Um, My man Adam was talking about it. So why you haven't done the show, man? I don't want to go sit down with Adam. Like Adam, it's weird over there, bro. It's like, look at the environment, Bring bro. It's just the environment. It ain't even. I don't carry guns. I don't. I believe in God. Nigga, I get carry Bible. Street shit. Bring a gun. Do you think? I don't want to go to no jump. I get no jump for the benefit of the doubt. You want to interview for me? Go write the biggest check you ever bought. Just go write the biggest check you ever bought. And we can do it virtual. You if, know, I, if I don't do a million views, I full, I full refund it. They, they, they're gonna see you're scared though. Scared of what? So white guy that played a little bobbit jump with the jump, the jump, the jump, jump. And, and not him, but like you know, you scared of break baby and, and the real like crips over there and shit like that. Bro, I'm so big in life, I couldn't even put baby on my name. It is what it is. Bro. By the way, you, you do an apology to um my man um. Oh yeah, let's be on the six hundred breezy real quick. They try to downplay me in the interview like they don't know who I am, but they was describing it. They were describing me trying to say they don't know who I am. Bro, all right, y'all don't know me, but y'all know who I am. So, like, y'all try to downplay it. I ain't going to downplay it, bro. I know who 600 Breezy is, bro. 600 Breezy is the dude that uh, Drake used to fly him out like a bra. He used to fly him out and used to say shit like he was going to blow him up. And it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was one of the Drake little groupies back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I don't say it like that, though. Like that's what he was. Like he a gangster. He like from Chicago. Like he, he, fuck he, out of here. 
I ain't believing that shit. Uh, Chicago got trenches news walking around with a mask on doing interviews. They got butt around here telling, collecting. The hot niggas is winning in Chicago right now. I swear to God, the hot niggas got more money than the niggas that's struggling. Like, and they got more views and they buzzing. Like, hot niggas is winning in Chicago right ain't now. You, but it's like you, uh, King Yellow about to do some shit? King Yellow, who was that? That nigga just did some shit. He just told on Offset. I ain't know Offset was a game member to King Yellow said that shit. That's a lie. I swear to God. <laughs> did you know Offset was in the game? No, I, I didn't know Offset was in the game. Wait, well, I told you some people to collaborate some with him. Collab? I don't even know that. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is a psyop. I think Atlanta is taking the whole snitching thing and trying to throw it on Chicago. It's a wicked thing they got going on. They throw it on butter, trenches, news. They're trying to. They're not throwing it on them like them real government, like them real paperwork. Like that's real. Nah, some of this you gotta be fabric. Yo, you're trying to call my man King Yellow, King Teller. Yo, King Yellow survived shootings, jail, all type of shit. He can't. Yo. That's why he survived. Yo, his life. That's why he survived. His legacy ain't been shit. He just got shot at a Taco Bell with his kids in the middle of Nevada. No, he didn't. It was. Holy. You ain't see it. Where'd you see that? Man, this was a couple of months ago. He was at Taco at Bell. At Taco Bell? Yeah, he was trying to get a burrito, Chico Amigo, and they put an Amigo got up on him with his kids in the back. Was he in a drive through or did he go inside, though? It was a drive-by. He wasn't in a drive through Who he be for? I don't know. Yo, it gotta be a paranoid life to live like King Yellow these days, right? Not really, not. I, bro, I, you I tell, thought like I, I, I thought it was sweet up in, in in Las Vegas. They agreed with the feds, like they didn't make federal, like they cool, they protected by the police, they ain't tripping on nothing. Who? Uh, but Chicago, listen to me, I'm just here to tell y'all, Chicago, no funny. Without Lil Dirk, that joint would literally be nothing. Like shout out to OTF, like without them, like. In the outside world, that joint would be nothing but a rock of hot ass YouTubers running around here bluffing. Shout out to Chase Savage. She probably the only real one Chicago nigga I know got some nah, sense. Nah, FYB, J Main be on that shit. J Main, my man, because I see him doing that, but that shit burning out. That shit, like, first of all, bro, nigga smoked up. J Main went. Whoa, 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 whoa. You uh, can't say whoa, whoa. A nigga smoked up, and mm -hmm. J Main ass went and took a box of whoops to the alleged person who, I don't know, he took Vaughn Murrow. Like, that shit was weird. Like, I don't care about this internet shit or nothing, but they've been disrespecting the shit out of Duck. They've been running Duck name in the grave. They, man, Duck turning in his grave. Duck would've never died for that shit. Duck would've quit that day. Duck would've never made that diss song if he knew them 63 niggas was gonna do this shit after he died. I swear to God, he'd never did that shit. Y'all set that man up. No way. Holy. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It... You think Duck want them niggas to testify on the shooter? Did you not hear Duck music? Do you not know what he stand for? Duck want them niggas in the car going to play Duck, Duck, Goose. I feel like that sounds good, but like, it's like, bro, uh, bro, bro, it was at a point that time like. Time out, hold on, I'm going to cut you off. It's my last time I cut you off. You said it sound good. To them, it sound good, but to the niggas that they getting into it with, they making sure that shit really is good. Like, you see, this, you said it sound good, but on the other side, is they, make, is they saying it sound good, or is that shit putting the paint where it ain't? They put the paint where it ain't, right? Ain't no time for no sound and good shit. So, so wait, what you try, are you trying to say the Ducks homies that... that They got belted ass so bad they had to cooperate with the fucking law enforcement. Like, they they had no win. It's like the two biggest niggas they thought couldn't die, die, and they said, fuck it, we want out. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm going to tell all these stories. I will even co I will cooperate right now with you. They cooperate in witnesses. It's only 63rd, though. Like, when Vaughn was like, we ain't from 63rd. We really ain't from 63rd. I never knew how, like, legendary that was. That joke really is birdie and shit. Like, that, that one street destroyed Chicago image. Well, I, I got to say, like, at least the violence chilled a little bit. I, well, the feds were going to come anyway. I ain't really tripping off the violence or the gangsters of the street shit. I ain't in the well, streets. Well, 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 you can't go to Chicago now. I don't I never was going to Chicago. Ever since D Rose hurt his ankle, I ain't I had no participation in Chicago. I might have went back in the day when D Rose MVP. That was my man. I love D Rose. Like D Rose the street nigga, or are you talking about? Nah, D Rose to play for the Bulls. Oh, the basketball player. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. And uh, I'm a Vaughn fan. I listen to the music. I'm a Vaughn fan. I'm even a Chief Keef fan. I fuck with Chief Keef. Like I even fuck with Sosa. Like I'm a who else? A Dirk fan, and that's it. Like I listened to the Chicago music and all that. I thought Chicago was the realest place ever. Till I started doing my research and getting into it, they got King Yellow. By BJ Man, the King Yellow, the shit, King Yellow shit kind of like yo, I'm, crazy. I, yo. This is what people don't realize because I did a one shot right. Yo, remember I'm in Jersey reporting on the shit, bro. I thought these niggas were the biggest killers ever invented in life. I thought these Ooh. niggas were everybody I reported about. Nigga, I'm gonna be honest with you. To this day, I'm still in denial that that, that, that um Lil J was fucking a tranny. I, I don't even want to hear it. Lil J just he's too he's too much of a killer. Lil J just dissed me from jail two days ago. He dissed you? That nigga said I look like biscuit from life. 
Oh, he's your saucy Santana. That was crazy. He fucked saucy Santana. No, I said he's your saucy Santana. Nah, he ain't my nothing. She you him into it. You know, you know how he I had a down. song. Uh, if he, if he can't shoot you, he might have to fuck you. You know the Kodak Black remix? Damn, what the fuck? It's like, it was like, little Jaden took dick so many years, some dick what? that he Whoa. can't get back. <laughs> Wait, what? He fucked some niggas in the state yard, niggas in the graveyard. I swear not he a day he goes too by. Many years? When he gonna think about the time he wish that he can rewind. They said they call Lil J with a tranny on the bunk out the sleep time. He woke up in the morning, they Yo. put a buckshot in his behind. Is this a real song? Real song. Remix. Wait, why you into it, Lil J? Gambling for your life. Uh, sit see now. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I was covering that, when I was covering like Chicago, man, I thought I thought Lil Reese was the most treacherous nigga on earth. I fuck with Lil Reese. Uh, yeah, We're I can't, Reese. No, I no, can't no, no, leave Lil, Reese out. What, what, I fuck with Lil Reese. Hell, my mother. What, 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 Lil J too. I told everybody. I bet you one. One thing I can tell you is, whoever made ammunition, Lil Reese body is. But that shit don't mean nothing. Whoever the ammunition man is, you ain't fuck with Lil Reese. So whatever they build, I want my car to be built out of Lil Reese. <laughs> like my no funny. My next so whip, I need that Joe Lil Reese. <laughs> Matt Black that Joe with the Lil Reese on my mother. Fuck that. That nigga. So you want your car to be wrapped in Lil Reese skin? Like, yeah, like I, that's, that's the, whatever the fuck he built with. I need that. <laughs> like, that shit. I'm telling you, that nigga nah, take a drink though. No, no. I, I, I'm, I'm glad my man's surviving. Nah, most definitely. I fuck with Reese though. And I'm on my like his style. So, it's, 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 so how do we reconcile you and um Lil J? Reconcile me and Lil J. I could do a boxing match. Yeah, and you and Six Nine was fucking. No, nigga, I'm telling you, no, J. Uh -huh. you a little like you a little J. Not okay, nothing. Shit. I'm not on. First of all, I don't even want to be in the ring with my shirt off with a nigga like that. Like, why do I gotta have my shirt off around with Lil J? That's crazy. Like, you over whooping in my Chicago voice. Like, that's over whooping. Me and Lil J in a situation, I got my shirt off. Why do my shirt gotta be off around Lil J? The whole FBG butter thing, kind of. I don't. The know whole that. FBG. That shit is illiterate. Did you check out Mama Duck's OnlyFans? Mama Duck OnlyFan? That jump probably some like curry out. That, when you say Mama Duck OnlyFan, I, a smell came past my nose. I swear to <laughs> no, God. Like, <laughs> when yo. you say Mama Duck OnlyFan, I, I started thinking about duck sauce and shit. Man, like, y'all niggas gotta stop playing, man. Hey, listen, and listen, Mama Duck in 63rd. Like, who's still on 63rd, you know? Somebody, I don't know nobody from, bitch, we ain't from 63rd? Nah, I'm just saying, whoever there, I'm cool with y'all. That's him. That's his Nobody's opinion. there. They all died. That's a lie. They did. Look, they're doing interviews on No Jumper all day. Yeah, about they ass been in court, about they dead people. <laughs> yeah, but at a certain point, you can test them. Everything connected to 63rd always tied back to something dead. I'm, a, all right, all right. Could you admit this? Chicago compared to D.C., is like Iraq compared to like Beverly Hills. Like that's Chirac. Fuck no. Nigga, Chirac getting it in, nigga. DC, if DC had to, all right, just say DC got 20,000 people and say Chicago got 2 million people. That's the difference. And we still in the, not, I'm not even glorifying that shit, I'm not even saying that, but we still in the top 10 murder rate, like the highest murder rate out of 20,000 people. Niggas in DC been cooperating. Like I ain't glorifying that shit. Like what I'm trying to tell you is I, DC Street so gangster, I don't be in them motherfuckers. Like, they, they out time me. Like, them young niggas different. Like, some news reports, you just gotta watch some. I don't even wanna go. It's so dang, I don't even wanna glorify it for them youngest. They all watching this interview right now. They wanna see this. I'm like, ants turn us up on academics. You gonna get somebody ass shot today by me saying this. Like, them young niggas be turned up in my city. They be spraying shit. That mean go shoot 10 other niggas. That ain't what that mean, y'all. Academics on some bullshit. I want y'all to get y'all life together and y'all come up here and y'all be with academics. All this holy, this gangster shit. Academics gonna report y'all. You just died. You gonna get a million views off you. Don't go for that one. I'm just here to tell you, go get you a business and come back the right way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna be as violent as I played out. Violence is played out a lot. So, so, so you're not really into into it with all the because you know some people are gonna look at you like you're a former street nigga that's a uh, YouTuber, and I guess that's what they're looking at these other guys from from Chicago as. Damn, YP. I don't even want it. You don't think that like you're a former street dude who's doing YouTube, but there's other people doing that like. Shit, I was enjoying even uh, Taste Six Hundred telling stories. I, I I like that. I like that people could get a legit earning and you know income from just doing regular content. Man, everybody don't gotta be a gangster. I told you I fuck with Taste Six Hundred. He moved like he he got a little bit of sense. He don't talk like them Chicago guys though. Like he he talk it, but he like he I don't know. He got like I feel like you can sit down and have a conversation with. Him. 
Mm. Like you got more mature. You like you been through shit in life. You could just tell. So you won't do no jumper because um, you see the back door. It ain't even the back. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't walk through the front, the side, the back. None of that. I'm not doing no no jumpers. I only mess with. I only mess with Sean Carter and academics. Anything yeah, other than it, that? It's because you saw what's the name get robbed. Who? Uh, J Main. I don't even drive. I don't need to bring it in my car. I ain't got nothing in it. I don't drive. I'm in California driving a car. Why? Are you scared for like like you know your safety? You know what I'm scared for? I, I'm scared that I'm gonna wake up with a million dollars and I'm have you niggas play a temple run out this motherfucker. Why temple run? Cause they better run from that cash. Cause when they catch them, beep beep beep, game over. I don't get that. <laughs> you ain't gotta get it. You from the suburbs? It ain't for you to get. They ass got it. <laughs> I'm chilling though. I can't know nothing. I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. Cuz, what do you, what do you think about the music industry? You know, we're wrapping up these days uh, for 2023. We got Diddy in hot water. Diddy has going to jail. But at the end of this year, Diddy gonna be in jail. You think he's going to jail? I think he's going. Why? To jail. It's too much shit coming out. Like they talking about 17 year olds and shit. Like shit's getting crazy. They dropping them from shit and shit. It's like it's like the oh. R. Kelly joint. I seen it at first. I ain't paying no attention. Then they had R. Kelly ass in custody. That's why I stopped paying hey, attention. Every, a lot of people been quiet on it though. And this is what I, I think. And this is what I've heard. They said it was the it was like the environment at the time. So it's not just Diddy. So basically, like just how you were saying when, when you were in the chat, it was like yo, y'all was like when y'all chill with girls, y'all had like it, that was the atmosphere type whatever. Mm -hmm. My did. opinion, I say leave Diddy alone. Like leave him alone. It already happened. It happened. It is what it is. It's a money grab. It matter. Everybody, ain't nobody perfect, bro. People ain't perfect. He got secrets. He lasted this long. Leave him alone. I don't feel like Diddy should go to jail for anything he did. If it went on this long, I and nobody Diddy said like, shouldn't go to jail. But we got to get Carisha to admit that her getting pissed on is, is consensual. No, her getting pissed. On is crazy. Carisha blink two times and let me know you are okay. You pissed on girls before, right? Pissed on girls? What? Bitch might not even piss me off. P, like what? I ain't trying to. Come on. Nah, some girls into that type of shit. Yeah, girls into that shit. I ain't into that. Piss in my house and I bet you don't come in again. Yeah, but but I ain't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of growing up and you gonna come in there when I get one and piss in my house? Nah. Do you think that Carisha was in the freak offs? Carisha was in the freak off, bro. Carisha is just said, Diddy be giving her $250,000 shopping spree. That pussy ain't got no limits. That pussy go wherever he tell it go. Do whatever he tell it do. Yo, that's the thing I think he got to be tight about. He done paid all this money, tricked on all these chicks, and now they come back and act like they wasn't with it. Like, this wasn't an agreement. Like, yo, I buy you this Bentley, and you suck 15 niggas off while I whack off. Like that was the agreement, right? They with it. They just suck fifteen dicks one by one individually their whole life and got nothing out of it. They think like, damn, it's a Bentley at the end of this. Hey, is that a new wave though? Because like I'm wondering, like I, I thought it was some Adam Twenty Two shit, but Adam even hit me and said, "Yo, act. You said this was some white boy shit when it was like, yo, you watch another nigga fuck your girl." Adam but, trying to fuck you. That's all it was. He was no, trying to get wasn't. you to fuck his wife, and he was trying to nah, watch. Nah, 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 nah. I got respect for his wife still. You know what I mean? Like you know, him yeah, man. No, come on, man. Nigga, he just let a nigga skeet on his mother, his wife. Face. Nobody got respect for that girl. No, no, no. He in love. Like, it, like to keep it real. If my baby mother even, first of all, let's not even. All right. If any human being I be around, he on, told me his business on sex that much. Like everything is her coochie. Like if only take a day off sex. So it's like she too sexed out. Like it's no way you want twenty four hours. Like like something's wrong with her. Let's say she made four million dollars off letting that other nigga fuck. Okay, her. at least take if your baby she, mama take five if weeks you're off saying and spend it. girls are selling pussy for one hundred fifty, and you got it, your wife, and she could make four million dollars by getting piped out by some random nigga. This is my wife, academics. We already got money. Is we trying to make it out? What are you doing it for? Like, was you dead broke? No, you wasn't. They trying to make it out of the gated community. Though. Trying to make it out. What the fuck is that? Heaven. They trying to make it somewhere else. Yeah, I know what they trying to make. Would you fuck her? Hell yeah, I fuck her. I'm trying to fuck her. Would you need payment or you just do it for free? No, nah, I need payment to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you mean? This is a, this is a famous dick. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like that type of shit go down in DC. Nah. Like dudes that let other dudes fuck their girl. Bro, you ask a nigga, bro, let me fuck your girl. He gonna shoot your dumb ass. Fuck, 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 fucking a girl. You can't even be a bitch, brother. When DC like, don't like, that's my brother, man. Fuck your brother. You better get your brother ass shot. Get in an argument with your girl, and she call a nigga, and the nigga her fake brother or something. You'll see a bitch man knots on her head. Oh my granny. Really? Oh my granny, why playing that? Nah, listen. I was judging Adam for it for a while, but but Adam know. went up there and asked Mama Duck about another about one of Duck friends' sex stroke. He wrong. Get shit as a man.
Really? He, he asked J Man yeah, that. I swear to God. He asked J Man about what? He asked J Man and Mama Duck like about some sexual shit with them, and about like he talking to them. I don't know some weird shit. So you think there's something wrong with Adam? I don't think nothing wrong with Adam. I know something wrong with Adam. Any nigga that can sit right there and let the shit Adam let goes on, if you think that's not mental I, health, you are crazy. You know, I'm gonna lie to you. And, you got mental health if you think that ain't mental health. Yeah, I ain't gonna. I, I, so you know, I, I'm on Twitter. The tape was on Twitter, and it was. <laughs> Him and another nigga fucking her, and at one point they just dapped it up type shit, like like they did some kid and play shit while they fucking her. Yeah, this the kicker. She married Adam because Adam got all the credentials and shit. Like he got the. the I don't think she'll leave him though. All right, listen, he got the porn business and shit. She under contract. I don't even think Adam wiped her for real. The wife shit's like. Nah, he facade, did. I, I, he I, loves him. I think the wife shit a facade for real. Like all the shit a facade. Adam might be her pimp. Like he might really be pimping her, but pimping is like illegal. So he got to make it look. As legitimate as possible, so it'll look like his wife, but he really making millions off this bitch. He really I used to up. talk shit, and because you know, like me and we would get into it times or like whatever, whatever. He just went on you, the, 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 so don't be up here on the front. He told me, so he rather go sit on academics. I was like, who the fuck is academics? You rather talk to academics and talk to me? That's how I took so it. You ain't about to send me off. I, 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 I don't know what it is. And then you ain't going to defend like, me. I come back up here for a second time. Give you the second, and you ain't going to take up for me. No, but, no, but, no, but, 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 but that's wait, at least shy back in the day. If I back shy back my play, he back in my play. You just froze up on me. Shy ain't back in your play. Man, if I man shy say man hold my shy say, shy, say, say man live. We got to get off this club. Holding pockets hold all my, that type I, of shit. That's why I say hold my pockets, bro. All right, I got you. He said you. He said you held his pockets while he got about it. I'm six foot two. I can't even find his pockets. I was like down there. It wouldn't even look right. You know. You know how I, I stopped saying anything about Adam and his situation. They got a child, and I and I don't know. Maybe I'm a sucker. Maybe that's some tender dick shit. It's like once somebody got a kid with somebody, it's impossible for this to be fake. You ain't no way you're doing some fake shit, or you don't care yeah, about. Yeah, mom, somebody. doing an interview. I'm gonna call you right back. You want? You need me to send the money now? Ah, right. is that a conversation or a fake conversation? That's my mother. Oh, I thought that was a plug. Shit. So plug. I don't sell no more. We sell no weed or nothing? Fuck no. Uh, why would I sell weed, academics? I make six digits a, a year. Maybe you're trying to get like Shaw. So Shaw sell weed. That's no, what no, you're no. saying. No, you're trying to get. So like, that's what you're saying. No, you're trying to get up to Where's his Shaw money. Where Shaw sell weed at? No, you're trying to get up to his money. Oh, get up to. How much money you got? Nigga, nigga got basketball money. I heard him, John Wall got the most money in D.C. Uh -huh. Is John Wall in DC? No, that's what I'm trying well, to yeah. figure. Like, I don't know what you hearing. I don't know what John Wall. John Wall, my John Wall got the money. John Wall, my man. John Wall, a real. That's a real nigga. John Wall's a real nigga, bro. Like, I can't really explain it, but John Wall, a real. Mm. I'm trying to send my mother this money, man. Always something. Are you be paying your mom's bills? You sound like you sound like a good son. It's Christmas, and my mother cooking for Christmas. Oh shit! And she want me to pay for the food. Well, you're probably like the big star now in the family, ain't you? I wouldn't say star, but yeah. If that's what you want to call it, I still the Do same a lot of people hit you up for money? Every day, all day. But they ain't going to say hit me up for money. It's just people I take care of. Like, this is my mother. This is my job. Just like, this is what I got to do. This is my priority. Like, that makes sense. I don't even care about the money. Like, if she, if I had a $1,000 and she needed 900 she can have it. So... It, after the last interview, did a lot of people hit you up in terms of like rappers and shit like that? Because I ain't gonna lie, you, you put me on a few of them um, from DC. Of course, that's why I told you you gotta go check on uh, KP Skywalker, uh, Young Threat. That's a lot of people, even Lil Bro YP. That's my you artist. You rapping too? That's my artist. He signed to me, Bob Sun Records. He off the limits though. No rap deals or none of that. But nobody can't. Nobody. This is nobody can't sound YP signing me. Don't you think the amount of shit you talk, you probably cost them like some opportunities? Like, man, you, you're not about to get no meek first after that. What you said last time, bro. We don't need no meek first. If might we wanted, need, if it we, might need some from the chases. If might we, I right, say, if we wanted a meek first, right? We going to Ross. We going to the boss. We don't need to talk to meek. Ross on money. Ross don't give a fuck about what we said. We gonna get the meek first. We don't got to talk to them. We gonna talk to the label. I'm the label. Label go talk to the label. We don't deal with the artists. Man, he don't got to talk to no workers. Do what he want to do. And he got his own. He got like. I get into it with people in the DMV. YP don't, they don't pick YP and YP don't get into it. They got their own relationship. I'm me. I'm my own person. That's my brother. I'm rocking with heavy. He rocking with, but like, he don't like, that shit's all, like, it's a whole different world. Like, he's his own person, bro. He do his own thing. Do you ever think that people um might use some of your words um, or, or like even what you said before, like you know, nowadays, especially with the Diddy shit, like they're going at other people, like you're hearing stuff about Method Man. 
you are you worried that shit might come back on you? Because you know what I mean. Shit, you said shit about Shy Glizzy and how he got down. What type of shit come back on me? Like shit, like somebody. Nigga, I say you say you you say you was throwing you was throwing Molly's in the and drinks and and well, like some come up like that and the girl say some allegations. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I don't care. I don't really think I care. It's gonna be a Virginia chick saying, "Yo, listen, man, this nigga did not pay for the pussy, and he threw two tablets in the pill." And, 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 and I ain't the never had paid for no pussy though. I, in my life, I never had no money. And who the fuck did I say they were selling pussy? I ain't never say I bought none. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, was supposed to say, come on and be like, well, we forgot to ask the nigga for the money because that nigga spiked the Kool Aid. They could have asked for the money. I ain't having to give it. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask all you want. The money about to pop up. What do you think about this new Me Too movement, though? Because that's kind of where everything it's, is going. Like society, society got sensitive. Like everything got sensitive. Stuff that goes on back in the day, it haunts you in these days. Like stuff that was bad back, like. Bad, but back in the day, that wasn't bad. It's bad today. So, like, I don't know. Like, your past to catch up to you if it was something real bad. But them secrets that be coming out about them people, like, late, that, that shit need to happen to them, though. Like, who's the weirdest, like, person you've met? Like, weird. Weirdest person? Celebrity? Yeah. Weirdest celeb? Diddy, probably. Because after he did that shit, I was in Diddy House. He did some wild shit over some change. Like, some change in the bag. Like, I don't know, bro. They gave him a bag of money. And the money had, like, some change in it. I don't know what the... Somebody got asked, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. These stories, yeah, you got to yeah, ask yeah. somebody to be around Diddy. Ask Carisha. Diddy does not like change. Like, something about change. Tell him to hold a quarter in his hand. If Diddy put a quarter in his hand, kill you. I swear to God. Like, something about when he touched change, like, like regular change, he goes off. How do you get change? Wait, explain. Somebody brought him a bag. Like, we... we I'm with... It's, it's us. We did. Like, I ain't going to tell you who I'm with because they're going to put them in the story and get in the blogs. I got time for that shit. So they set the bag on the table, long story short. But he go through the bag, it's just supposed to be money in the bag. It ain't supposed to, it's some change in the bag. Like at the bottom of the bag, it's some change, like some coins. His hands must have touched like the coins. Like a quarter? Not one quarter, like some change. And like it's, it must, I say if a bag of money, you just expect the big bag of money. You don't expect no change to be in the bottom. You don't probably ain't touch change in years. Diddy ain't touch no change, like no coins, I guess. I don't know, this how he acting. He stuck his hand through the bag. I swear to God, like change came up in the bag of my mother. The guy who passed in the bag, it was like one of his little, he went off on his ass. I thought he was about to hurt that man. Like he went off. Like, on I'm some, like There is a picture where like Diddy's like, he's at the court side and like he's like counting through money. And like, I guess he had all hundreds and he, and he found a $1 bill. And he looked at it like he just seen like his worst enemy. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't know, bro. He got a pet peeve with some money. Like, I don't know if it's change, short money, whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't even want to speak on it. Like, but it's something about change. Like, he went off. Like, I, that was the weirdest shit I ever seen in my life. And I was thinking, like, something was in the bag. Like, did he cut his hand? Did he nothing? So I'm like, child, why you do that, brother? Like, man, it's the change in the bag, bro. It was the change. Like, we went back talking about it. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Like, what? Some change? Niggas that rich? Fuck it. Give it to me. If you did that shit, I'd have went to the bag for you. I count this shit. You don't even need the money counting puff. I count this shit off for you. 1.5 million, 1.9 million, and then sweaty as a month, 2.65. <laughs> Damn. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I definitely think Diddy might be cooked, man. Yo, yo, yo. yo who's Holy. Your, who's your top op these days, man? Top who, op? I don't got no top op. Now, you was arguing with somebody recently. I seen it. Who? Which one? I argue with somebody every day. Literally, the last person I argued was Lil J. Was it Lil J? I think it was Lil J. I probably argued with Lil J two days ago. It was somebody else. I, I ain't hit a glizzy. These niggas no clout though. You no, know, I, I don't know him. I'm pulling shit out glizzy. Like you remember when you said you asked him about English? Like I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know. He, he really say he ain't know crazy as shit. I got a lot. He probably to say. don't know you like that though. Yeah, he don't. He don't know the me though. He don't know the new me. He know the old me. Oh, how, how has this year been treating you though? Great, great. I, it's probably one of the best years of my life. Like literally, financially. Probably my mental been off a little bit, like in the beginning of the year, but why? I don't know. I just yell on that phone all day, and that shit just, I guess it just puts you in that mental state. You be on live just talking crazy all day, and then it it it, it just like be like that. Then I realize I've been on live yelling for three weeks. When you go outside, because that's what people always assume. Because like think about the Charleston White thing. Did you see Charleston White getting? Um, hit in the barbershop. Charleston White don't move like me. He can get punched in the barbershop, bro. I ain't Everybody been, can get punched in the barbershop. Niggas be taking a whole nap when they get in there. I ain't though. been to barbershop in five years. Nigga, how do you shape yourself up, nigga? My bar will come straight to my house in my kitchen. He just was on tour with Raw Wave. Shout out to my cuts, best bar in the city. Why don't you go to the barbershop? You scared? Scared of what? You keep saying scared, bro. 
to a nigga that never did nothing is scared. To a nigga that did something is smart. I did shit to people in this world. I can't be where you can be. You ain't never did nothing. You can do. You can move nah, how you want to move. move. Shit, you I done did enough. shit. So it's like, I don't forget what I did. Yeah, I ain't in the streets no more, but the streets can catch up to you. Mm. Just being cautious. Yeah, I've been in the suburbs. I'm out the streets. I stay. If I'm out the streets, I'm not gonna play with the streets. I ain't gonna be in no wild shop. I'm not gonna be doing none of that. I'm just. I'm all the way out. I'm in the suburbs. Everything come to me. Like come to me. If I go out to eat, me and my girl just went out to eat last night. We go out to eat. We been places. People see me and all that. You're not gonna know I'm gonna be there. It's gonna be surprising. It's gonna be like, oh, Aunt Glizzy in here. It's not gonna be like I know he gonna be in here because you can set something up. So, w- w- what advice would you give to our Charles White? Get him a pistol. He got pistols. Like, he be showing mad guns. Yeah, but he ain't used them, motherfucker. The last two situations I seen him, man, he needed that, motherfucker. <laughs> I seen him try to hit me with the, with, the, with, the, with the stick, Joe. He missed. I said, oh, that's his ass. <laughs> like, he had the stick. He was banking on that stick, too. I've been seeing him a lot. I'm going to hit a nigga with this stick. He ain't know his this was going to slip his ass. Yeah, he be 64. having like a railroad screw. This shit. Ugh, this shit choked up. He ain't like a bike chain. You ever seen the bike chain? Just that you're stuck in the middle. He's like, Ugh. He couldn't even, he was too old to rock back around. Nigga tackled his ass. Fuck. And that shit was crazy. Holy. Nobody never tried you? What's the last time you got to fight? I've never been in a fight my whole life. Ever? Ever. There's so nobody's world ever been in a fight with me. Other than the box match, I like, So nobody fights you? I'm from Washington, D.C. I got like, chief growing up, I had like a cheat code though. Like, the, I can't really, I got talking code. Like, I had a cheat code. I got a brother. My brother, you know Wayne Perry? Yeah. My bro go harder than that nigga. So That's a lie. So um You just made that up. So I had a so I had like a I had like a I had I had it smooth growing up. I ain't really had no problem. You're a brother that go harder harder than Wade Perry. Can't really speak on it. But Or th- that's the story you usually tell them. Or do they know that? The world know that. The comments gonna tell you. Really? What do people in DC think about even paying for, like, you know what I mean, like that movie, that whole story? Cameron got shot for playing the actor. He said Jay Z shot him. Jay Z shot Cameron? He said he's the last thing he saw before he got shot, nigga threw him the rock sign. Oh, he said somebody thought, nah, that wasn't the rock. He thought that was the rock. That was a nigga trying to get that Glock in the right aim. He thought he, he seen the rock. That Wait, was the why rock. would DC be mad at that? What you mean? Uh, Alpo was disrespecting DC niggas, he told. So you gonna come down here, the nigga who played the nigga who ran on DC nigga gonna come down here and drive around a Lamborghini? You could have played a black truck and been airless. You come down here in a pink Lamborghini, they trying to turn his ass in the pink punch. Now nah, I'm just playing. I fuck Wait, with DC Cam, stand on business like that? No, they don't. Nah, really? DC really stand on business, bro. Ask Chief Keith. Ask Cameron. Early rapper, Chief early rapper that ever came down here. What happened with Chief Keith? I don't DC? know, something. Uh, Chief Keith came down here when he be with Shot Glizzy. And so don't business. Well, nah, shit. I, I, the police report said like it's two of us got shot up or something. What? Yeah, like it's two of us got shot up. Them niggas never came back. I never seen them since. In Washington, D.C.? I think it was D.C. Was it D.C.? Yeah, I think. Sosa. <laughs> Bitches love Sosa. Oh, no. Any niggas that play with Chief Keef, you already know. No, I know niggas who play with Chief Keef and then nothing happened. Wasn't it in D.C. they tried to take the Migos chain? Yeah, they were playing with like. They, they tried, they did. Then they quit had to stand on business. He got the shit back, though. That's my partner. He ain't get it back, though. They still got that chain to this day. I could have brought that chain to this interview. I swear to God. <laughs> Where's the chain at? Uh, it, it still exists? Damn. Yeah, it still exists. You ain't, let me pass you that. You, are, you, ain't, you ain't gonna wild, are you? Fuck you. Nigga, shit. I didn't know this shit. I thought the chain uh, got returned expeditiously. Uh, expeditiously. That's a Milan words. The only place I knew that you tell a You tell a DC guy to turn, return something expeditiously, he realized they ain't even gonna know what the fuck you talking about. Like, that word alone, like, he, that shit sound like drop the chain off of Exxon. <laughs> 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 Maybe I'm sleeping on DC then. You is. That's why you need to come. I, I'm gonna take you. First of all, I told you, Shaq Lizzie Hood got the best rappers in the city. I can't go up. Now I could go to my homeboy hole now, but I'm you can get, go there. Yeah, I, 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 you I, sure? I can sneak there. Like with you, I can go there. Like if I come with academics, I, you would be the reason I could. Because I came for a reason. No damn no, shield now. Not no shield. I came for a purpose. Now I have a G with 100 solid purpose. I'm pitting this block on. I brought academics to your block. Okay, you feel okay, me? Okay, okay, so okay, it's gonna okay. be like it's gonna be mutual. It's gonna make sense. Yeah, yeah. But they got the best talent. I'm talking about like they got the best rappers. Shit's crazy. Holy shit! I didn't know DC was like that. Holy. 
Nah, if DC really is like that though. For real, for real. Only reason you don't think DC like that because you met Shaq, Glizzy, Fetro, and Wale first. Them probably the three softest niggas in the DMV no. in the line. One, two, three softest. Like I swear <laughs> to God softest. on my grandma. No, no, GQ no. Grave, I stamp it. No, no, no. Softest. The softest. No, 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 we no, gonna no, go no, Wale no, the no, softest. No, then no, we no, gonna go. No, no. Then we gonna go Shaq. Then we gonna go Trail Third. Only reason I'm gonna go Trail Third because Trail can go to jail. Shaq has to go to jail. Y'all has to go to jail. Shaq ain't never going to motherfucking jail. He ain't going to no jail. The hell out of here. You see Tyler Bay? No claims to say. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, I, I'm I, listen. Until until further notice, Fat Trail to me is the most dangerous nigga out of DC. That nigga look. That nigga looked terrifying. Fat Trail, not even you keep talking about looks and shit, bro. He nobody looked give terrifying. Him, that's that be them soft ass and big scurry ass. And man, nobody care about that big scurry. That shit don't mean nothing, bro. That man gonna get right in this car when he leave out here. And if you start doing a hundred in your car, he gonna put a seatbelt on. He ain't that motherfucking scurry. Fat Trail's not from DC, from V. Matter of fact, Fat Trail, I could never try to keep me to get keep bidding on your uh. Bam ass I don't even want to keep doing it right, Stop putting Fat Trail under this fire Fat Trail is not what you think he is When he come in here You're going to see his fat fluffy friendly ass It's going to be like Oh I'm gonna... hoping he's friendly That would be cool Hey uh, Alright So so alright Other than DC man These are the areas who, who do I got to look out for What's been going on You put me on game Alright Cause you, you You give a story time up Like every fucking day Don't you I'm piss you on game Detroit already popping Detroit they already locked in DC, yeah, and I don't, I'm gonna just go DMV, like DMV. That's all. I, we don't get no. What's your last couple story times been on? Oh, uh, my last couple story time. My last story was you still clowning Shaq Lizzy. I get it. Yeah, young Mozzie Rob Shaq wanted to rob Shaq Lizzy, but Jose Guapo stopped it. Uh, really? How you know this? What you mean? I'm the one. I mean, Shaq was beefing. And I still had to go with him to Atlanta in the midst of us beefing because he got into it with young Mozzie or something, and I had to go on him. Oh, young guy rest his soul. I think he died, right? Yeah, he passed away. Yeah, he yeah he was like a he was on some different That's type why of time. That's why Shy called me in the middle of a beef because he knew not to play with Mozzie and I had to go down there. I was going with him, but Guap was there though. Guap wasn't gonna let that happen anyway. It was more so with Jose Guapo than me. My gangsterness ain't even have to. I don't got to be gangster in Atlanta. We were with Guapo. Guapo know how to move. Just Guapo jump for real. Like at that time, it was good. What do you think about this whole why uh, sell trial that's happening now? Free thug. I fuck with thug, bro. I feel like all them niggas supposed to took the time for him, bro. Like thug, I don't feel like thug gonna get found guilty though. That shit like a circus, bro. Thug ain't do none of that shit. I swear to God, leave thug alone, man. Free that man. We need him. He need he a big influence in the world. Well, you, you, you got to pick a side. You can't really like gunner and. I don't got to pick no motherfucking side. I, that's you some, do. That's some that's some street shit. Street nigga got to pick a side. I don't got to pick no side. Guess what side I pick? God, the Lord. <laughs> the Lord, I pick God. So I put my faith in God. I'm putting my trust in no niggas. So I don't hey, care about no niggas. Hey, listen. A lot of times, I feel like a woman these days they're going off of uh, like what this Christian rock girl is doing. Like, I know you keep calling me green, but I know my man Blueface not green. What would you do if you were dealing with a girl that was like Christian rock? I wouldn't though. I told you what type of nigga I am in the beginning of this interview. I ain't dealing with that type of shit. I what ain't dealing deal with it. I'm this different type of nigga. My household gonna be quiet, bro. My house gonna be regular. We ain't punching no walls. We ain't breaking nothing in here. I nothing. Your TV. I ain't never had nothing in my whole motherfucking life. And you gonna break a TV in here? Oh man, bro. Oh, so I'm, what you gonna do? I'm gonna call the police on her ass. This is my house. Her ass going to jail. This That's ain't no hot shit. shit. This, is, this is my girlfriend. This is the message. If I smack her ass, I'm going to jail. She broke my TV. I don't know how to react. I don't know what to do. I can't punch her because I'm going to jail. Guess what? I realize I'm legit. I'm calling the police on her ass. I'm going to get her out of here. First, she ain't got to go to jail. Just get her the fuck out of my house because me trying to put her on my house, that's a charge. You get her out of here. That's it. That's true. I, I, I seen people trying to get on my man 6 9 He called the police on his girl. 6 9 You got to call the police on your girl, though. Like, we got to normalize that. Men. I'm girl, calling. I don't know how y'all feel. First of all, all that gangster shit, nah. First of all, if she called, even if you didn't do that, you're going. Like, I'm not calling to get her arrested. I'm calling to get her ass out the house. I cannot even touch her and get her out the house. Because her moving around, she might get a bruise. I don't know. I don't even want to put my hands on her. I pay the rent in here. This is my house. She can take whatever she want. Like, there's no, like, there, no, leave nothing, nothing. Whatever you want to do. I don't give a fuck. Load the police right here to see it all. I just want the police to see it all. Like, you just see it Have all. Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Because I, I think they've kind of been at that point where you, like, forgive. Because I ain't gonna lie. I've been in a situation where, like, like, some shit like that happened. It should have been a rap, but, like, you know what I mean? She apologized. I ain't been know, toxic kinda, since I got, got back into a tight shit. I ain't been to a toxic relationship since I got money, though. Like, since I got money. But you forgiving a girl for doing some dumb shit. My girl don't do dumb shit. No, man. not your current girl, but like, like, like you acting like you above a toxic relationship. I think th these days I don't get played with. I, I ain't really no. All right, 
I can't really. I don't know if I say say if a girl yell. Once I start yelling, bitch don't want that. Say if a girl punch me, I punch her back. She don't want that. Like, but if you punch her back, she go on the cops on you. You got all right. So you can't punch her back. You sentimental, like. You'll be around a girl that figure you out. A girl will know what type of nigga she could do that to and what type of nigga she can't do that to. The girls figure shit out. Like a girl know who they can yell at and who it's all right. It's a nigga in your girl phone that'll be like, bitch, suck my dick, woo, but she'll be she'll be like, I love you and all this to you. But it's another nigga that be carrying her ass. Cause a nigga know what's up with her. It's they're like every girl don't act the same to every nigga. She treat a nigga accordingly to how they learn that man's. Like, so when she learned that she could say that and play with you like that, that's what she gonna do with that. If I nip that shit in the butt from how day one. That? What you mean? Ain't no fixing it. Once it happened the first time, it's over with. Everything that happened the first time always gonna happen the second time. It's nobody gonna change. The only thing gonna change is they ass. Fuck you talking about somebody, a girl do one thing. I'm not gonna tell her she gotta learn from it. Get the fuck on. I learned from it. They never trust you again. Like, I'm not playing with life. There's no second chances, no none of that. I'm a grown ass man. You playing out here. I told you it's the difference between nigga who playing and nigga ain't playing. I ain't playing. I ain't. So you're saying the first time, say if you were a girl like Chris Rock, the first time. She's like, fuck you, fuck you, Aunt. She Never break, talking to her she again. She break your big screen TV. Never talking to her again. Never. She's over. She go on your YouTube channel, she delete all your videos. It's a wrap. I'm never talking to her I again. I bet. She apologized to my baby. I'm sorry. I love never you. Never talking to her again. She still did what she did. Her reaction lets me know what type of person she is. Like, if I can do something to a person, the reaction they give me is going to let me know where this going at. And, like, if I cheat on a girl and she go back and cheat on me, I will never talk to her again. If I cheat on a girl, she pulled me up about it and she cheat on me, but I don't know she cheat on me, but she still treat me with respect. We might can go somewhere far. Hold on, hold on. Break that down. Break that down. So if if you cheat on a girl, because this is another thing. I've been saying this about on my stream recently. These days, I've never seen a time where women feel like they, they keep using this word, get your lick back, which means if your man do something, you could go and do the same thing. So if he go fuck a bitch. You date girls that's into that city girl. This is every girl these days. No, it's not, bro. My girl every to read a fucking Bible, bro. Like, it's real girls on his world. can't be black then. Because all these bitches were Zeus and, and, and they're like, it's like they're trained Dumb, with sexy all, reds. Uh, all sexy girls red, are not like Christian. that. Academics, them are the girls. Where'd you, you find them at? Them, them are the work. Barnes and Nobles? Nah, bro. That's where you find them girls at though, bro. You into them type of girls. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You know it's a girl out here in the world that just go, like, that That literally study. Like, she don't studies harder than the club. You just ain't into them type of girls. Wait, okay. You know it's girls out here that never heard a City Girl song, but then they like. Yeah, I be trying to find them one, so I ain't gonna lie to you. Those gotta be the special. All right, so wait. So if, if you cheat on your girl, and your girl said, well, you cheated, so I cheated back. How do you view that? It's no such thing as cheated because I cheated back. But first of all, if I got to cheat on my girl, I don't want to be with the bitch no more anyway. I'm going to break up with her. Or I did it to get broke up with. If I yeah, got to cheat. niggas be cheating. Come on, nigga, man. Come on, man. You're a kid, bro. You're a child, bro. Niggas don't be cheating, bro. Don't put that shit on me, bro. I don't be cheating. If I'm a fuck a bitch, I'm a fuck a bitch. I'm going to tell my girl I'm a fuck a bitch. If I ain't going to fuck a bitch, all that, you creeping off and all that. That's some tender dick, weird little kid shit. No, no, no. no but, but, but having sex with another girl is cheating. That's what you on, though. I, like, that's what you on. So bro. if you fuck a, if a girl and you tell your girl, you don't think that's cheating? Why am I fucking another girl? I, am I horny? I've been getting pussy my whole life. I, I got a girlfriend. I, my girlfriend is a 10 to me. What the fuck am I about to... If I fuck another girl, I'm literally just fucking because she got a pussy. Almost some horny shit. If I get horny, I be with my girl every day. I can fuck her every day. Like, I'm acceptable with her body every day. I might downgrade going to fuck another bitch. Literally. So if your girl, so if your girl cheat on you, could you accept her back? No. I'm not going to talk to her anymore. But as long as I don't know what I don't know won't hurt me. I not saying she can't cheat. If she do, I don't. If I don't know, it don't hurt me. She's doing great. Obviously, she cared about me. She kept it so motherfucking pee that I didn't know. Great. <laughs> so respectful cheating. You respectful. I will take respectful cheating over a disrespect. But she still respect me though. She well, respect me so much. What's she try disrespectful to hide cheating? Coming in the house whenever the fuck they feel like going to the house, talking to you anyway. They want to talk to you. You say something back. They talk back to you. They don't like 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 second like. Second hand talk Like it's no second hand talk What I say is we go, We're gonna McDonald's We're gonna McDonald's Ain't no I don't want McDonald's cause I wanna do that. No oh. But I give my girlfriend I go off her though I can be that way I literally go off her though Like if she I ask her like What we eating and shit I let her pick Just to be That type of way Cause I be going hard In different other type of categories And shit I might be on the phone all day I ain't got time I don't give her no flowers I might not even hug her I don't be on none of that shit I be straight on internet time Like all day Like she might not even feel like She got a motherfucking boyfriend Some days You feel what I'm saying So the days I do I, 
I do shit like food and shit, but like we ain't perfect though. We go through shit. We, I hate the bitch. Like I hate the bitch. I love her at the same time. Like I hate her today. I hate her, but I still got buy her Christmas presents because that's my friend, bro. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, you like a romantic guy. It ain't even romantic, bro. I fuck with her. Like I fuck with her. That's my girl. Like at the end of the day, it wouldn't have been my girl if I I could have picked any girl. I picked her. So why would I put my all into her? You if you found out your girl had like I don't know seventy bodies before you. I wouldn't care because I probably got 7,000 bodies. I, if I fuck 7,000 people and she fucks 700, who the fuck wrong, me or her? She still dating me. The fuck? That's, that's mature. I ain't gonna lie. I'm expecting the girls to tell me like five, six. I ain't even asking no girl how many bodies they got. I ain't even asking. Bro, I never in my life asked a girl how many niggas they fuck. I don't even care. I'm telling chicks to write down every nigga name you don't fuck. That's crazy. I, because I got to see who I could never get into it with. Tender dick. That's not tender dick. You just bought a whole bag of tenders. No. Chicken tender eating ass nigga. No. I got to see. mix. I got to see who I can't ever get into it with ever in life. You said what? Not even that. Not even 20. Not 21 an hour. 21 an hour. She got 21 it. bodies. Not gonna lie. 21 year olds don't have no 21. No, no, no. Five bodies. No, nah, this is 17, crazy, maybe five bodies. Shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, these days, man, I think you gotta go overseas to get like a real good girl, man. I ain't even gonna say she'll be good. Would I get married? Yeah. No, because I got the most. If my girl had the most, yeah, because I'm gonna take her ass down. What you mean? Like, basically, if say if she cheat or I cheat, I get half. She don't get half of this shit. She didn't bring nothing. Like, this is me. The fuck, she can have a Bob Sun Records because we broke up. The fuck does that got to do with anything? Mm. Mm. Do, do you let your work or no? If she wants to, my girl got my girl got a job now. Oh shit! Like a part time. She I'm just trying to learn the game. I'm just trying to. See I how ain't gonna really even call her a job. Like she ain't doing ringing up. And my girlfriend do makeup whenever she feel like it. Like she go to work and do makeup. She do makeup. Oh okay. Man, I think you blessed out here, man. Let me show you a picture of my girlfriend academic, so you can understand, bro. So Yo, you can, I still can't get over the fact you told me a bad bitch and you say she's selling pussy. But the crazy part about it, she got friends. Her friends was I told you her friends was better than her. She's still selling pussy? Yeah. And you academics. Academics, I, I 100% sure. Bro, fuck selling. Bro. I can tell her you trying to fuck. I'm just, I, no, 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 no. To fuck. I don't want her. I don't uh, want her. I'm, I'm just uh, saying. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to throw it I to my man. I can straight drop her off to your door. <laughs> fuck you talking about. I'm and I promise you, I'm 100% sure. I can swear to God. I'm going to show you her Instagram. Show it to your girlfriend. I bet you your girlfriend know her. That's how small Virginia is. I, they know each other. I know they know each other. They do be knowing each other. I, I already did my research. I know they know each other. Who you looking for right now? Your girl? Y'all still think I'm tender dick, man? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't like that, man. I, I, I keep it P. I keep it P. I do, when I like a girl, though, I like a girl. I think that's normal. That's human. You know what I mean? If it's a girl that I'm not involved with, who cares? But everybody got a girlfriend. Just like how, that's why I ask you those questions. You got a girlfriend. Y'all got girlfriends back there or no? See, he got a girlfriend right there. Wait, you say you ain't think I was what? Until what? Uh, until I gotta know every name? Of course I gotta know every nigga you done fuck. What the fuck? Man, that is crazy. So like, what if you, like, so like, what if like, what if you see nigga, all right, what if it ain't a lot of niggas, but it was like two niggas on there, they friends and shit, you don't even know their names. What if it be Tim and Tom, Tim and Tom brothers, you don't even know, you just see two names. Like, you ain't asking who is no, it really? No, no, then I'm asking about like how the sequence of events go. Now, to keep it real, you fuck, you fuck a whole friend group, you a hoe. I can't fuck with that. You fuck the whole friend group, that's your hoe. I don't care if you have 99 bodies or nine bodies. If you fuck the entire friend group, you're a whore. It's pattern of behavior. It's like it's like the police do it to black people all the time. It's like, all right, bet. Well, you know what I mean? Basically, a pattern of behavior, you're probably going to be committing more crimes over here. I got to see if she's going to commit some other crimes than cheating. You talking about commit some other crimes? For real. Nah, cause you might scroll through my phone. I'm not. You ain't strolling. You ain't touching. You ain't touching this. Okay, okay, okay. I know her. Now, why would I? Now, why would I go do this? You don't even know her name. The crazy part about it, I said, my girl, I don't be saying no names. You like, I know your well, girl's name. Her. I know her face. Nigga. That's cool. That ain't gonna get you nowhere in life. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna get you nowhere in life. <laughs> now that's what I be saying. No, I can, So why would I? I just do my thing. Nah, I see it, man. I see it. 
All right, yo, so wait, so yo, uh, so all these rappers are cool with you. You're not beef with nobody. Tell your girl she can never. Who? Your girl can never. Oh, she better than her. Your girl can never. Her. That's a BBL. Hey, you, your girl need one of them. No, 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 no. I, I specifically don't deal with BBLs. You know why? How you don't deal? Do, see, I'm gonna tell you why. Your girl, because oh, your girl gonna walk down the street see, and another nigga gonna see that ass. Yeah. Your girl, you can't take that. On, you can't take that. Hold on. You yeah. can't take that. Your girl, 28. When she turned 35, that shit gonna look, even Nicki Minaj shit don't even look right now. That shit gonna look like just two dumbbells just hanging off her ass, just protruding to the ground. That shit ain't gonna look too right. Who you, seen, sh- who you seen 35 with a bad ass? All of these chicks. Have you, name me a girl, you name me seen, a woman who's 35 who got surgery. His ass. Watch this. I got 20 of them. Tell me where you want to start Bernice Burlos on my mother, on my granny. Yo, nigga, she about your baby. girl is not, yo, Bernice Burlos. I'm just saying. She's 65 looking like I, 23 I'm just, for the last 20 I'm years. Just nigga, saying. she's a vampire. You she's said name else. one. All right, name two. Name two. Two. Well, Dream right. Doll took her shit out. Black China took her shit out. That's the trend right now. That's K. the Michelle, trend. K. Michelle had to reduce her shit. Say her ass turned green. Everybody's talking That's about That's because they these, went to the bad know, doctors. Nigga, they're all having a Green Lantern experience. Nigga, like, they went to Green Mile. I don't know what's going on with Bernie's their ass. Bernie's Burlos. Their ass got so fat, it, it started turning right and it turned green. I don't know what's going on with their shit. Name me one. I'm this is why I don't like BBLs and shit I'm like that. I'm going to give you a scenario. See? Here you go around it. You can drive a Bentley. I mean, you can drive a Buick every fucking day. That one time you get a chance to drive that Lamborghini, you gonna drive that Lamborghini. Hold and on. I'm gonna tell you what that BBL is. That BBL is that Lamborghini. Cap. You can have that Buick every day. Cap. You gonna want to drive Cap. that Lamborghini Cap. one day. Cap. Let me tell you this. I'm gonna give everybody a, a, a oh, real scenario. Man, your bitch got a summer school nah, body. Nah. She back there no, built no. like a boys I'm, club, I'm, like I'm a boys give, and give, girls club. I'm gonna uh, give everybody a realistic scenario. Like a boys and no, girls club. I'm gonna give everybody a realistic scenario. Director, check this out. Your girlfriend got a Boy Scout bag. You got at your crib. You own. You got a Mercedes, but you got a C class. That's the basic joint, but it's a C class. It's the Mercedes. You and the Mercedes, right? Now you go to you got you go to South Beach with your homies. Now you can't get a C class down there to rent. You got to go get the Lambo, or you got to go get some shit that you know because you only out there for three days. Y'all split them up, all four of y'all. Everybody gonna drive it. Cool. Now everybody know you got a Lamborghini out there for three four days. You rent today. Number one. You you go on full speed over all speed bumps. You hitting curbs. When you get to the gas station, you know you can't put no goddamn regular uh, regular gas in a motherfucking Lamborghini, but it's a fucking rental. You put anything in that bitch. You just got to get from point A to point B. You do whatever to. You know why you do, do that to it? Because it's a fucking Lamborghini for three, four days. You come back home and your shit, you got the rag in the middle of the summer r- wiping your shit, trying to make sure your shit shiny as hell. That everybody on the block look at it. That ain't it's me, a C-Class, but it's a shit you own. That Lamborghini... Come on, man. That's a build the body, man. Oh, Everybody man, know like that. that shit is temporary. That shit not supposed to last for like 10 years. It's supposed to I last can, for the time you on vacation. I'm just That's here to tell I y'all, academics from the suburbs, don't listen to them, y'all. <laughs> Society changes in life. Your grandmother, she ain't even had no motherfucking oh, cell phone. Oh, I got nothing to Grandmothers this day, they got cell phones. Your Yo. grandmother ain't had no OnlyFans. Your grandmother ain't had internet. So yeah, Yo. it's BBL's. Life has wait, changed. Wait. That- Time is better. If you can get that ass, go buy that ass. Don't listen to academics because I'm telling you. Yo. That girl that got that BBL that's on Instagram, your nigga, while he lay beside you, he hey. on there looking at all Yo. them fat ass jokes. He scrolling down them jokes. He saying. liking them jokes and all nah, that nah, while your flat butt ass on. right there. I'm Yo. telling you. Hear what I'm going to say too. You go get a chick. First of all, any chick with a BBL, I don't care if you're in the hood or not, I'm automatically looking at you like, yo, you basically a nigga who's like seven foot three that didn't make it to the league, nigga. How the fuck you with, how the fuck you like playing G League? Like, nigga, you so how you feel about Bandman Kevo finesse two times, all these money bag, yo, these yes, niggas. I feel this. The listen, fuck? if y'all got, if, you, if these niggas listen, get BBL, I know a girl that got a BBL and she's actually working in a dentist's office. Bitch, if you don't get a nigga and get the fuck on out of there, BBL why don't the fuck cost the record. Why is you getting a body kit just to be at the regular shit? If you get I a BBL, get it, you gotta be with a star. I get it. I'm gonna let them go on. What? Academics can't fuck the bitches with the BBLs. They don't be fucking no, with no, them. That's no, why I hate them, y'all. Last them bitches don't be fucking with academics. No, no, you corny and shit do. to the bitches no, with the BBLs. I get last it. Last time I fucked the girl with a BBL. Them out of your league. Last time, no, no. Last time I fucked the bitch with the BBL, that shit doesn't even feel right. Like, it didn't even, it didn't even feel like that it was sculpted by God. That ain't the BBL. The mad shots. <laughs> It didn't feel like it was sculpted by God. It felt like it was like, yo, I'm like, yo, hold on. Like, I'm like, damn, look like she need, yo, you know when these bitches get a BBL, they got a massage and shit? Yeah, I don't know about, y'all don't know about my that. My girl, that they motherfucker the, like Mother Russia. It feel like I belong there. That motherfucker yo, like, ah. Cap, listen, I went to motherfucking, 
I went to uh, I went to Miami. Grab your girl ass is like a pizza box. Yeah, listen, I went yo, I went to Miami and when I was coming back through TSA, I see a bunch of chicks with girdles on and in a goddamn wheelchair. I said, what are these bitches? What happened to them? They all like broke their foot. No, they all just got BBLs. You know what they gotta do? They gotta get they gotta massage out the pus and all that type of like, you know what I mean, all, all that type of what gunk and sewage out of their body after that. That's why That's when I surgery. bought the chick, I realized I said, this ain't sculpted by God. This is sculpted by a goddamn nigga with a scapula and a goddamn dentist. Who office. hurt you with a BBL? Somebody hurt you with a BBL. No, I just can't listen, it's temporary. I'll fuck them all day. I can't wipe Bruh. them because I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, the first of all, here's, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this, this is some real shit. Like, like no bullshit. This you don't shit. get bitches, that's why. No, 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 this is some real shit. I'm a fat nigga. I know there was a time in college I used to be actually skinny. So I always look at women like, how you going to be looking in the next eight years? Wherever you look like right now, you have to look good now. But what are you going to look like in the next eight years? I'm going to take you serious. Now, you know me, bitches, so I know, like, yo, listen, you probably got two more years before you fat as fuck. Yeah, of course I'm going to fuck you now, but I'm going to never be with you in two years when you're actually fat. I like getting a girl who I think that in the next eight years, she ain't going to need to have to run to a surgeon to go get her body done. I'm going to tell you something that all girls do. What's your girl? All what? girls, I'm not even a girl, and I'm going to tell you this. All girls take them pictures on their phone when they in them bathrooms by themselves or they, or they ass and wish about how big they ass was. I don't give a fuck you that, that, that girl that don't want to ask. Either you scared to get a surgery or you don't have the money. Either you scared of needles or you, you don't you don't got the money. It's no in-betweens. No young girl in this generation. Academics just trying to make it seem good. Nah, man. Your girlfriend got pictures in her phone or her thinking her ass is fat. That little ass uh, piece of box she got. Natural, she thinking that fat. Natural, I love natural, natural body, Mental man. health. You used to fuck girls with natural ass. I like, did, bro. This ain't no natural world no more. Ain't nothing natural. Ain't rich shit. Ain't regular. When no I see a girl, nigga, the grocery store ain't even. This, this, the, the grocery store price. I used to go to the store back in the day I for hundred. I see a girl with a BBL. That's like me. Like remember back in the day, niggas used to couldn't afford a Bentley, so they used to get the Chrysler three hundred with the body kit. My nigga, like nah, I just didn't like that shit. I like the shit where. Pull like this. If I want one of them bitches, like there's girls that actually look like that. I'm not gonna get the girl that's gonna be build a body. Cause half the time them bitches is wild, fat as a, fuck. They get the they get the fat shaving off their side. If a girl want a perfect body, let her have a perfect body. You hate on a female. No, I want to be sculpted by God. Sculpted by God. By God. Huh. By God. Only God can judge that booty. God said, "Come as you are." This nigga, man. I'm just saying, you act like you can't go to church with a BBL. I'm lost. God said, come as you are. And I'm just going to tell you how bad them BBLs is. The pass up there, Lord, such and such one of BBLs walk past, he going to forget a word. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I haven't been he going to forget a word. I, I haven't been to church in a minute, but did you hear they said, you ever heard about that nigga T.D. Jakes? Man, you talking about that nigga. That nigga was that nigga. That was my pastor growing up, so I realized. He wasn't your pastor. No, I'm not talking about I went to his church like I believed in him, like T.D. Jakes. Like he was a big famous name, like the he black boy. The the, I heard that nigga. That nigga was Yeah. Mm, yeah. That nigga was praying for no STDs you know, or that type that's, of shit. That, that's my grandmother, man. Like, she loved that nigga. My grandmother turned in the grave right for now. For real? My grandmother loved that nigga. I swear to God, that's how I met that nigga. My grandmother, that nigga used to play on her TVs early Saturday, loud as shit from the back, come on football practice. I had T.D. Jakes. Well, something, something. I said we come down in here. Oh, that type of... Yo, if, if, if... All right. T.D. Jakes on ass. That's crazy. Nah, that, that is ridiculous. That is crazy. Hey, let's go... Let, so, like, the, what, the guys he baptized, is that, like... Could they, like... He put them niggas on the water and he said, oh, oh my God, oh my God. I heard his holy water was mixed with a little bit of seminal fluid. It's yeah. a little bit different. Hey, yo, if you, all right, let's go into like, you know, alternate reality. There's three parties popping that night. I want to know which one you're going not to. Not going like, to Diddy's. I don't, just no, don't put him on the list. Not no, at all. He on no, the list. No, I'm not going three to. Three parties. Three, the biggest parties in town. It's only parties. Either that or you're going to stay home and beat your dick to motherfucking like some, some chick online. You either go to the Diddy party, Bill Cosby party, or the R. Kelly party. What party you gonna be at? I'm going to R. Kelly party. Why? R. Kelly, I grew up to I Believe I Can Fly. He can get to my favorite songs and shit. Like, I believe I can fly. And it ain't nothing in there but some young bitches. As long as they don't tell it, we fuck it. Like, fuck it. Like, just gotta keep the young bitches quiet. All we got. R. Kelly ain't got nothing to do with no boys and shit. There ain't no weird shit going on in there. It's just some hush money. Well, we need some hush money. We kill the. 
Bill Cosby and shit. That shit got some weird shit going on. It's just some young. It's just some young Jones. Well, all right, there's a fourth party popping up. It's a Trey Songz. I'm party. going now. Nah, I'm not going to Trey Songz. You're not going to Trey Songz. I've been party? to Trey Songz party before. Trey Songz from Virginia, ain't he? Trey Songz be acting like nah, Junior Trey from Knows Bachelor's Club. Oh, you hate, from, no, you uh, hate Club. Trey Songz now. Yeah. I was at a party. He pulled a Junior from uh, Players Club. You say he what? He pulled a Junior from Players what Club. What do you mean? Man, you seen what the fuck Junior did to Ebony in that back room? I do not know. You don't want to know. I had to get the fuck no, out. Somebody put me again. You say he put a just know Trey Songz get drunk and them businesses for each his own. Beating on man, he be doing shit. Oh shit, he be getting on his like I can tell shit. Man, like he aggressive. Like no, he don't. He is a drunk. Yeah, lover boy. His lover. neighbors know his name. Yeah, I know, cause the bitch was like Trey, stop. No way. <laughs> what? So you saying he clobbering her type shit? Mm -hmm. Not her clobbering them. It's probably victims. Me too movement. I'm surprised he ain't come out next. No, well I've said allegedly the the, the Mount Rushmore is Diddy. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, and Trey. Oh yeah, so, Trey definitely getting built. They still building name for the eyeballs. In yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, yeah. like, it's still like, like right now, like bitches be coming out against Trey. We be like, shut up. Like you ain't old <laughs> enough yet. You gotta be a little bit. You gotta get to a certain age. Like, Fifty four. Once he says the fifties, them songs gonna stick. The problem with the chicks coming against Trey songs is like they still fucking other niggas like for the same shit. So it's like, bitch, if you fuck like. You fuck Chris Brown, you fuck Sway Lee and five other niggas, you gonna tell me he the only nigga who did something? Shut up, we ain't wanna hear it. it makes but sense. once they get a little older, you know what I mean? And they, you know, they start having their little bifocals on and they get this cellulite going on, and we gonna start believing them. But I think his lawyer's been getting ready for that. Damn, I didn't hear about the boots. I don't hear about him beating chicks. I, I've heard some stuff I about Trey Songz. being like, like he just aggressive. Like a girl say, told me, if she don't want her bra off, he taking it off. A girl told me a weird encounter she had with him, and I was just like, like kind of on some, some Diddy esque shit. Yeah, crazy. I understand. Which I, I, I didn't believe, but then I was watching one of them old bad boy parties, and I ain't gonna lie to you. Suck, guess who was there? Shy and Trey Songz was in there sucking feet off the liquor. God, on my granny. What? What? I, said, what? They was, I, I put this. I, I think I did. I say it on YouTube. I already put the story up. Man, I told you I was Shia drunk. And Trey Songz was I wasn't what? drunk. I said I was drunk. I tell you about. They was drunk as shit. Like in some house. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Tell the whole story. All right. We was with Trey Songz one day. I'm gonna just talk real fast. We was with Trey Songz one day. Trey Songz with his girl. I think it was his girlfriend or something. It was some girl he was with her the whole day. I don't know if it was a girl or something. But we end up ducking her because he told her he he was going with Shy and us somewhere. The whole time Shy and us was going with him to where he was going. <laughs> but. He told her that. He sent her where she went at, so she wasn't even with us no more. We end up at the studio. So after the studio, we went back to like a, I don't know, it might have been Airbnb or one of their homeboy house. It could have been Trey Song's house. I don't know where the fuck is that. After we went to a studio, we left the studio. We went to a house full of girls, but they was already, like, stuff. they stuff was already in there. They was in there. Like, they been there before. This is not no new environment to them. It's new to me and Shaw. So as we in there, long story short, they getting drunk and shit. I don't really know Trey Song's all like that. This like my, I've been around him a couple times, like my third time around him. But they drunk and shit. They've been drinking at the studio. They still drinking. Like now he like extra aggressive. But first of all, this one I knew shit was about to get weird. They took every, it was probably 18 girls. They took all their phones. They took all their phones. That's Nobody cool. had no cell phones. Yeah, I, take, yeah, I, take that I never seen no shit like that. I'm from Southeast. I'm like, how y'all fuck y'all girls go somewhere with no phones? Why they don't take no phones? Why they can, what's going on in here? They got no phones? <laughs> Like, there ain't no phones. That's what I knew. Like, that's a red flag, ain't it? Like, nobody. Girl. I'm like, fuck it. They cool. They drunk and shit. They ain't they drunk. So, Trey Sean sucking on feet, shy, and them sucking bitches' feet and shit. I went upstairs. Like, I had a toast. I had a girl, man. I'm talking about they don't even know these bitches. They sucking these bitches' feet straight off the floor. I swear to God, they all drunk and shit. Everybody drunk. Trey Sean, Trey Sean ripped, ripped the girl bra off. She like, stop. He's still ripping. Like, they ain't listening to him no nothing. Like, they don't got no what phone. the fuck are you fuck doing at that point? Man, fuck you talking about what the fuck I was doing. I was going, I had a girlfriend at the time, and my girlfriend couldn't hear all that shit in the background. Shot them down and licking feet. They saved. I took my ass right upstairs. First of all, I'm crummy and shit. I had the same outfit on for like six days. My nuts probably smell like last week. I know I ain't getting no <laughs> pussy in here. Like, I'm just here. Like, I ain't even trying to look sweet. I'm Wait, just you didn't even try like, like, you gotta sneak it in. Like, I maybe somebody ain't noticed it smelled crazy. Well, like, yeah. No, because I'm shocked. Lizzie Man got the sneaky nuts. I'm telling you, I know these jokes, <laughs> boo. I've been here six days the same outfit. Like, I ain't got that going on. I just spray some spray on the hoodie so the other. Oh, nah, not, not the old spice. Like, yo, yo, it's, it's, it's like, it smell like a high school locker room in that bitch. Shit, that's serious. But I see they, they, they secure, they cool, they, we, we chilling. They, I walk upstairs, I'm on the phone, my girl, they downstairs just doing Maybe that's some freak shit. Dude, that's some like DC, Virginia freak shit. Nah. That's some toast out there? I don't know. I ain't never seen no shit like that. I left that shit alone. And I'm talking about they were sucking toes back to back. Like, don't you know how you niggas suck toes over this, suck toes? Nah, they was like, you get a foot, I get a foot. Shit just got crazy. Oh no, I left. I left. I, I just left. I left. I wrote what out. The fuck. That's the same shit I said. What the fuck? 
Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Imagine all the calls on my phone, man. Yeah, man, shy and shy and Trey songs. I'm getting their feet. I mean, I'm sucking feet and shit. Like nobody would believe that shit. I just kept them stories to myself. YouTube, you can't believe that. I'm gonna tell all the stories. I'm telling them all. I got hundred million stories. Hey, you know who I'm? I'm shocked, and I know you. Pro I don't know if you ever been around him. I I'm shocked of all the women that um, Uzi would have ended up with these. I know Uzi. That's my homeboy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Like. You know, he was with Britney before. Who's the off limits? My I, partner. I be thinking when that. you doing that. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, how is this different? Because I ain't getting this to his love life. He talked to JT now. We ain't talking about Britney. I ain't getting that. No, it's because. My partner. Nigga, JT, the same type of chick that. I ain't, that speaking, on, I ain't speaking on Uzi, girl. Same reason I would have did to you. I wouldn't have spoken on your girl if she wouldn't have did that to me. I ain't speaking on Uzi, girl. Well, she said you lied on her, though. I ain't speaking on Uzi. Shout out to Uzi, man. It's my partner, bro. It's my dog in real life. What about Young Miami, though? Yeah, I, I burn Young Miami. Yeah, it's up. One hundred percent. I burn her up. I, I still want to burn her up. Like, I, wait, no, no, hold on. Wait, just, just speak on speak on the relationship with Uzi because I ain't gonna lie. Uzi. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I met Uzi for the first time this year. Yo, it's my partner. Yeah, no, no. Uzi is literally like, yo, he's just such a chill dude, and I think that what people see sometimes online, you gonna think opposite. What's the first time you met him? Probably he DM'd me. Probably like a year or two ago. That was the first time we ever built a relationship. He probably watched. He probably watched the videos and shit. He do watch my YouTube. I just asked him for an interview. He told me he got me. He probably would. Yeah, he definitely would. You see, I, I tried my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, let's get it. I got you. But we communicate. We just keep in contact, bro. He be telling me, watch me, give me a little bit of motivation. I be telling him, I watch him too. I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? But. Everybody, I can't be mean to everybody. It's like people be genuine. Like now, I don't think people think you're mean. I think people believe that you're telling the stories that, like, it, industry niggas tell us tell one version of a story. You're telling the story that don't make nobody look pretty, ugly, or whatever. It just it's everything. It's like all right, it is what it is. If I seen it, I tell what I seen, and you don't like it, it is what you. That's how it is, though. I when we get an interview from Wale, though, am I gonna get an interview from Wale? Yeah, I don't think I want to interview Wale. My platform bigger than Wale. What about Meek Mill, though? I ain't really tripping on Them niggas soft shit to me. You probably need a whole week. You probably need them. I don't need them. You want to know what's crazy? Well, I feel like if Meek Mill's do an interview right here, I don't feel like it'll do more numbers than me. I don't feel like Meek bigger than me right here on this chair. Well, well he's not the hottest he's ever been right now. So I, ain't, I ain't did nothing to what he did in his career. I just came off my mother couch. Well, well, you got to realize right now, like... He, he, Hold on, wait voice. a minute. Y'all thought I was finished when I bought that ass in mind. Y'all thought it was... Rent. Now, I actually probably would do some views. Can me and Meek were beefing for me. Yeah, it might do some views. It might. You ain't know what I was going to do. I was scared of You ain't know what I was going to do, though. You ain't know You ain't know I was the hidden gym like that, though, did you? No, no, no. Can I get my flowers? Did you say, holy? But I'll give you credit, but, but, but I ain't going to lie. Me and Meek, when me and Meek was into it, man, that shit was serious. Yeah, I know. He was beef with academics. It was so serious. He was shooting at you every day. You couldn't even come outside. No, I feel like Meek was actually, I feel like Meek was, it was at, he was probably the only rapper I felt like every time like I would hear shit behind the scenes. It was like, yo, Meek is ready to jump out the window and do some shit. <laughs> like, you. if like, anybody jump out of the car, it's Meek. Yeah, cool. it's like, yo, Meek finna do something. I was like, I'm like, and I think you probably the same way. Like, it's, when you get your joke bag, you like, yeah, nigga, I'm just cracking jokes on you now, but I know you getting mad as fuck. Meek Mills jump out of the car on me. You better have a parachute on. Y'all don't have no, y'all got, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all to squash y'all issues. 20 minutes after y'all to squash my beef with them. We don't got no, I ain't got no issues with Meek Mills. I ain't got, I don't even, I ain't tripping off Meek. Hey, bro, as soon as I told y'all about the Meek Mills not knowing the gun, did you see the viral in that clip of him running, shooting the switch, and he missed the whole target? I ain't missed the whole target. Can't, this shit was dead center. Man, that man ain't hit a fucking barn. Nigga, everybody from Philly was like, yo, that's how they do drills out there. Man, that's crazy. Free AI. Nah, that's what they told me. Free AI, holy! Hey, did um, you know who used to be up in um uh, uh, uh like at least that area? What's my man's name? The boxer, that's Vontae. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. Yeah. How did he go broke? I don't know. He, he drunk. He be he be on the bitches. He be like he get drunk and shit and just be on the bitches. I don't know him for nothing but like crap games and being on. I hear he gamble a lot. He illiterate though. Like he don't got no sense. He retired. He be clout chasing. He be on the rocket. That nigga goofy. That nigga corny. Agent Brown, you're fucking Yo, goofy. No, he used to be. He, sh he should have been the next Floyd. Next Floyd? 
Bro, come on now. Everybody knows. He should be the next Floyd. Fuck no. Javante, Javante will be Javante the next thing closer to Floyd. No. Well, you're right. That nigga was retarded. That nigga never fought nobody and he jumped out there like he was goofy. He was a his character his character was louder than his boxer. Nah, that nigga's hilarious. That nigga's corny. He lost a lot of money though, and I was wondering like, yo, how the fuck do people lose all that money? Being corny. In that time. He ain't he ain't he don't know what the struggle is for real. That's disrespectful to the struggle. Any nigga that come from the struggle and you can't turn seventy thousand into a million, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve it. Niggas fucking up a million dollars, two million, three million dollars. They're giving it to the wrong people. <laughs> hey, the, the, the Gil- give it to me. Yo, the Gilbert and Rena used to be running through like these and shit. No, nah, I don't know. Gil, fuck, Gilbert burned the guns to work. He ain't even had to be in the streets, but no, nah, I don't know. I don't know Gil. Gil like the damn. basketball players. Be Fuck him in that old. Right? Now you talking about Gilbert Arenas, bro? I was a little kid know. when Gilbert are like, damn, you 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 crazy now. The you only over- case the basketball player I know now is is, is John, Morant. John Morant. Yeah, but we ain't even gonna do him like that because he's trying to make him the face of base, base, uh, base nah, basketball. Gonna, listen, I ain't gonna. Lie. I'm waiting for him to shoot somebody. A jumper? No, shoot somebody. Nah, hell no. Nah. I want y'all to win. Nah. He, he's trying to crash out. I like to encourage the crash he out. He ain't trying to crash out no more. Nah, I like to, l- 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 you can't talk niggas out of the crash out. Like, he got 200 million. I can tell he want to shoot somebody. I just want him to shoot the right person. I fuck with y'all. Nah, I ain't, I ain't getting on jaw ass. Ja, I fuck with you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay ass away from them pistols, though. Who the hell play for the the, the, the Wizards these days? Kyle Kuzma. Who the fuck? Lord, uh, he got the. LeBron traded him. He got the Cisco haircut. LeBron said, dun, 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 Is he dun, baby. I don't know. He got the thong, 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 thong. Who be in the thong. clubs? You got to tell me who in the clubs out there making noise, man. In the clubs? Nobody. Ain't shit going on in D.C. but death. Really? Ain't nothing going on. But you got to turn these rappers up, bro. You got these rappers something to rap about, something to look forward to. They don't get no platform. They don't get to come nowhere. Why like, don't you bring them up here? I am. Next time I come, I said I was going to come this time. But next time I come, I'm bring, bring somebody with me. I'm bring two, three rappers. I'm bring the biggest. I'm bringing two biggest rappers from the city. Let me ask you a question. If in in a alternate world, I would love to play Peacemaker. I know people think I instigate, but I want to play Peacemaker. You are shot. I'm with one hundred percent. You down? Yeah, one hundred percent. We have metal detectors, all type of security. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Long as we're in a situation, it's cool. Like he can bring a plus one. Long as he can bring one, and I bring one, it it can't be no extras. Like I don't trust the people around him, so he can bring a a plus one. I bring a plus one. Like it'd be a security conversation. Huh? They could have a good conversation, and I'm gonna academics. I'm not. I told you I'm not in the streets. I'm not in case of time. I don't care. It's okay with me. But what I'm here to say is like, we can make a lot of money together. And I don't know hanging. Just the business. Just the business. Like just that. That conversation alone will makes a lot of money. You feel what I'm saying? That's fact. Hey, um, you can sit him right here on the other side of me, and we just have a one on one conversation just like this. I feel like you try to sock him around. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wouldn't punch him. I'm, I believe in God, man. I can never, I ain't no backdoor nigga. If I say I'm gonna steal Shaq Lizzie, I'm gonna steal Shaq Lizzie. If I say fuck Shaq Lizzie, fuck Shaq Lizzie. If I say I'm not gonna touch Shaq Lizzie, I'm not gonna touch him. I ain't no sneaky nigga. If I was gonna punch his ass, I punch his ass. You know I punch your ass. Hey, uh, listen, we're trying to set up like a whole, like I told you, Malenko put out say cheese. We're gonna do, trying to do some boxing shit. You've been in the ring before. Who would you wanna be in the ring with? Uh, I take Charleston White for the 100. Give me 100K out to Charleston White and Blueface can beat the shit out of me for 1.5. 1.5, I let Blueface knock me out because I know that shit coming. Blueface the only one I know that I can see now. I fight. You have the same height. I told you. Shit don't mean nothing. Act them. That man can really punch. That man went 12 rounds. I mean, maybe 12 rounds. I don't care if he sparred Floyd Mayweather. I couldn't even get in the ring and get the courage to put on the gloves and stand in front of Floyd yet. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was kind of spooky. That's crazy to me. That's crazy work. I see. Once I see a soldier boy finally duck a duck a beef, and I'm gonna I, tell you something. You cannot beat a nigga with two toxic baby mothers. He ain't been through it all already. All that frustration he got, him put that shit on you. I remember that nigga had a black eye for three months straight. That, I, I knew that nigga like, yeah, that, and he wasn't in no type of ring. It was his baby mama socking him out, them hitting him in the head with a bottle. He ain't give two fucks. That nigga beef with his mother on Tuesday, baby mother on Wednesday, and fight your ass on Thursday. He, you know, at one point I was so stupid I was really going to get in the ring with him, and then I re- after his baby mama hit him in the head with a Hennessy bottle and she vacuumed it out, and he ain't even at least like cried nothing. I'm like, this nigga too tough. Oh wait, yeah, that nigga was too tough for yeah. me. Nah, Blueface will fuck us both up though. That's true. I seen you arguing with him on the other day on Twitter. I was about to say, I can leave that man alone for he show has one of them straight jabs, knock you the fuck out. You bullshitting. Nah, man, yo, 
you know my problem, and this is why you know. And I was gonna defend you. I'm gonna cut you off. I was gonna defend you, like man, blue face leaving the fuck alone. But I was like, damn, he can punch me too. Shit, crazy. I blow blue face ass up, turn blue face to a new face. Dude, that's what that's what she should have jumped in and said. I would have time like, yeah, this is my shooter right here. All right, we gonna stop, nigga. I, nigga, I could be shockless, you could be you. Nigga. I got the setup right now, blue face. I swear to God, say something else to academics. I'm gonna see your ass, nigga, on schoolyard crib, nigga. Fuck you, talking about <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, bitch yeah, ass, yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Security I, in town, nigga. Uncle yo, Buckus. Yo, listen. Listen, I don't know if this is how Shy felt, but I love when I got a nigga who I can tag in all my beefs. Yeah. Like, shit getting too throw serious? Me. Yo, handless. Yo, throw me in yo, all that nigga, shit. what? You trying to do what? Yo, handless nigga, man. Matter of fact, you ain't got to talk to me, man. Yeah. Anybody got anything to say to act, just say it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that shit. I like that shit. You beefing with Saucy Santana and no, shit, nah, though. No, nah, 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 no, 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 other than the Diddy situation, which I think no, it's one. Diddy gonna hate. kill somebody. Diddy got three people in front of me. I say some guy you hate though. Like Ooh. I don't know. This was a long time ago. This was before we yeah. even connected. Damn, it's a bald head guy. Yeah. His, his 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 baby mother or something, a porn star. You hate him. You hate his guts. A bald head nigga. Bald head guy is is. You know who I'm talking? Bald head nigga. Who? Who? Nigga who? Frank. Freddie. Oh, Freddie Gibbs. Name. Yeah, that's the name. That's the name. Oh, yeah. He like a big, he, like, they say he the, he the number one ranked vice lord in Indiana. What's a vice lord? Nigga, like some shit they cut niggas next off. That's what they, uh, they said. Maybe on some cartel shit. They carry machetes. It's and a cut. gang? It's a gang, nigga. Oh. He be like throwing a VL, <laughs> nigga. The whole time he throwing a VL, I'm thinking he on some Nipsey Hussle show. Victory I swear to God, I thought that was a soccer team. <laughs> nigga. Yeah, nigga, I had to Google the Vice Lords because I was getting into it. My he kept throwing up VL. They said them niggas had machetes. They cut niggas' necks off type shit. I'm like, all right, this is kind of extreme. Nah, I just say, I just say, I seen you arguing. You was well, carrying him too, like you broke ass and then like. Nah, I was carrying him. That's my nah, first time I ever seen you do nah, that. His baby mom's like, you know, she down bad and he broke. So like, is this some sucker shit? See, this ain't no tender dick shit. I was going like, I don't even pay for pussy, but I was going like, I was going to pay her for a scene. You feel me? Like, I got to give us... Nah, that was cool. That was get back if that's your op. Yeah, yeah, the baby was in the belly, too. That his kid type shit. Feel me? Oh. Nah, I can't do that? You was trying to put some Parmesan on the baby head? You a wild nigga. That's you crazy. You ain't the, the soldier boy? He yeah. said, I got some sperm on the baby head. Yeah, you heard what the baby mother said. She got a lawyer oh, on yeah, your mother head. <laughs> no, no, no. But, no, no. But his baby mama was really going. Like, she told me, she said, 10 bands I could name the kid. I seen her baby mother before I knew that was his baby mother. Like, you fucked her? No, nah, nah, fuck no. I seen her on, like, the the fan bus. This is why I'm That's always... That's why I watch the fan bus? Huh? That's the little joint where the girls go on and they be... And like, they fuck baby alien. Nah, they don't be fucking. They be telling them, but they be saying they, they wild as a spirit. So I don't be watching the porn joint. I be watching, like, the, <laughs> the joint that be explaining it. Nah, you be watching that shit. You be nah, subscribed to the I watched the baby alien little tape, though. I did. Would you fuck Ruby Rose? Fuck Ruby Rose? I eat Ruby Rose ass. Damn, you got a girl. Your girl would like that. Baby, I'm sorry. I will eat Ruby Rose ass. Shit. Would you come back to her though? Or you're down, you're out? Would I got to leave my girl for Ruby Rose? No, no, no. I You eat her ass and she says she like how you eat her ass and she wants you now. No, I'm not leaving my girl, but I definitely eat her ass and I'm going to go back home to Bay. I'm just, just keeping like, it 100. That's like, uh, just say one of these rap niggas. Let's just use who the biggest rapper in the rap game. Drake. Let's say Drake D and Bay. So once in a lifetime change, you feel you will let her fuck Drake. She ain't got to tell me nothing. I wouldn't know. She, how the fuck would I know? I'm about to ask you, is you about to go fuck Drake? And I'm gonna ask you, did Drake DM you? I wouldn't fucking know, but I'm just here to tell you, she wouldn't know how Ruby Rose ass. It'd be the same type of situation, is what I'm telling you. Okay, you found out that your girl fucked Drake during me or after? During. If my girl can fuck the Exxon man, I'm done. It don't matter who it is, I'm done. Like, why are you fucking <laughs> yeah, somebody yo, with yo, me? I'm done. Yo, yo. <laughs> she basically said, all right, so she said, babe. Yo, I fucked up. It's a once in a lifetime thing. No, once in a lifetime. And she tell you, she, you got like 10 hall passes now. Fuck the hall passes, baby. You don't have 10 hall passes. Fuck you, man. I got 10 hall passes, but you don't have 10. Who the fuck gave you 10? <laughs> so it's done. She don't even got a hall pass. Bitch, fuck you even doing in the hall. You supposed to be in class, learning. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I agree with that. Nah, okay. yeah. yeah nah, it, 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 okay, better question. Drake DM your girl. You know in your mind and your heart, your soul, ain't no way Drake could have even found her fucking profile if it wasn't for you. Are you, you got to smoke with Drake or not? Because I ain't gonna lie, 
when I was thinking about niggas like hitting up my girl, I'm like, I never got smoked with a nigga ever. It's never really? a nigga. A nigga gonna be a nigga. If a nigga, a nigga, that ain't my friend. He's not supposed to have no loyalty to me. A nigga not supposed to be loyal to a nigga he don't know. You feel me? I don't expect a nigga to be loyal. It's on her to how she play it. But it's a gift and a curse though, cause this thing about if she do go, you know what type of bitch you got, you was dealing with, so you really learn from it. You don't really get hurt in the long run. You don't get hurt, but at that point in time, you be on some emotional shit. But I told you I've been through real shit in life. That shit don't even get to me like the super tender dick shit. I don't be caring about that shit. It is what it is. Bitches fuck, niggas fuck. It's a relationship. Trying to be like you, man. I ain't gonna lie. Shit. I'm, I'm not taking that no I'm to, All right, you wanna be like me? I'm gonna give you my house keys. You can go back to my house. I'm gonna take the Lambo truck and your nah, house. Nah, 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 nah. And you nah, can nah. take your girl too. Take your girl. Take get your girl the fuck out the house. I only want her. You can take her with you. Nah, ain't nobody nice her. This is me and my dog right now, man. I know because I seen her over the post saying back in uh, such and such VA. Uh, anybody want to link up? Now she want to link. Why you talking about? Why is your girl on social media on an Insta story talking about she want to link? Like who's in such and such Virginia? Let's link. She ain't say that. Holy! I'm gonna show you. You just be making shit up, man. Oh, this my God. Can, shit uh, she really said that. I, she said what? Do y'all know what she said? We They even know what she said. They, they don't, don't know what she said? I'm, you I'm, just making this up. I'm going to drop a whole video, a YouTube video about academics girlfriend. No, because she's going to get mad at your ass again. It's like, nah. <laughs> I don't fuck with your girl. I don't fuck with your girl because she put that street shit in there. She wouldn't put that street shit in there. I would truly apologize to her because I ain't no, even no, mean I'm that. Gonna be honest with you, like I, I never had sex with your girl though. No, 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 I, I know, I know. But but here's the thing: I never I, even been around. Hold on, but I know why she said that. Because I be having her accounts. Like I think look, she looking for something to say to you, and I think I seen the, I seen the DM from like a profile with no face. It probably was even a lie. And then she probably was just like, I gotta say anything to this nigga. But look though, I feel so like some random person told her like, "Yo, it wasn't, this nigga not good in this hood, blah blah." Just say this to him. She wrote that to herself, bro. That's how delusion Drew is. Let me tell you how she wrote it to herself. She wrote it to herself. Did you see the way the spelling was? It was a parenthesis with a parenthesis go. It was a oh. nobody in DC not even feel like this. <laughs> no, this is female typing. This no. is a, this is not even a, this is not a male typing. <laughs> now nah, you're right. Don't no. the period, Hold the on. parenthesis, Hold capital on. word. Right. Be cap but that's why she not really in tune with the street shit. She thinks it's a street nigga with the parentheses. But no, this is what she did. She went on YouTube and heard something about me, and she wrote it back to herself to play it on Insta story, like she was talking to somebody. But I don't even really care about that what she really should have did is say i'm mad you said my name something and just took my apology i apologized three times before i went off i said i'm sorry did i didn't mean to yeah i apologized three times i said i'm sorry i didn't mean to i didn't mean it that way i just was playing he trolled me for i was apologizing apologize. no, we, like, no we trolling each other like it's it like damn how much can i say i'm like do you know who i am for a living for you to get apologized out of me first and i'm already weak as a motherfucker now you trying come on girl i'm here to tell you i will have you in academics and that motherfucker fighting if it's up to me i said okay the one load him up we had three videos ready academics girlfriend this, I, he was, her name was on the board, Shay Glizzy, three times. We had three uh, gentlemen. I got another gentleman on the vault, on the, on the archive from, but she left me alone. I don't even, and I didn't even want to get into it because your girl. I kept saying, man, I kept saying, you gonna post me no more. This bitch fucking me now. Like she, ain't, you gonna post me more? You gonna stop talking about me and all that? Cause I'm going on this girlfriend, man, yeah, burning yo, my bridge. Yo, yo, her and your girl could hang out. Why you keep trying to put a VA bitch with my it. girl? Yeah, what's like, the problem? My girl can't hang with no girl from VA. Hey, you girl from VA? No, my girlfriend's from Mobile, Alabama. You're lying. I swear, Honeycomb Brazy sister. How the heck? No, no. Is she really from Mobile, Alabama? No, nope, but that's just how far I want them to think. That's how far I want them to go search for her. <laughs> that's what she, that's, that, that's the clue. So that's you hiding your girl? Hiding. Yeah, you won't say where she from. I ain't hiding my girl from the world. I'm hiding the world from my girl. <laughs> So, suppose a nigga right now got a story about her. Like, you wouldn't you want to know? Bro, that's a story about every girl, including my mother. I would hate to know what my mother did to my okay. father for that sixty dollars in the back of the alley the night they had me. You think I give a fuck? I don't have a heart. My mother probably got hit for the sixty. That's how. I, my, listen, I'm gonna tell you a story. It's this other guy. That I think he my father. My mother gave me the other father because my mother just ain't want to tell the story about why she was with that guy. So she took the sixty dollar nigga. I might have ended up with the wrong father. I we ain't tripping up with these females doing out. Wait, 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 whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, my mother probably fucked. The nigga for sixty dollars back in the day and had a baby Whoa. Eric Lindsay. Your mom will fuck for I'm sixty just bucks. Cracking no, you cracking, man. It's a fucking joke. You from the suburbs? You can't even take a joke. Told y'all, y'all. You can't even crack a joke from the suburbs. Like my it's mama a joke. wouldn't even. My mama Basically, wouldn't even this is what I'm, about her. Let me break it down. This is the joke. Basically, you trying to say a girl? You trying to break it down about a female? I'm trying to basically tell you no. I don't give a fuck about what a female do because my mother probably did it. Like the next person did it. My aunt probably did it. So if we if we singing oh, out one that. girl, like it been going on for years. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not here to worry about who a girl fucking what they got going on. Nothing. That's not what I'm into. Some guys be into that. I'm not into that. I'm into YouTube being better and all that. Like, it is what it is. I'm just 
I'm just here for my girlfriend when she need me. I ain't here to worry about all the extra shit. What do you think about Wack Well Hunt? He's a whack ass old head ass what? nigga. Whack a goofy fake ass game. I would love for you a whack to sit He down. won't come to DC. He won't do nothing. He an old ass nigga who sit on clubhouse. He's like seventy six years old. His ass gonna die in ten years from old age, natural cause. His ass got like cool ten to fifteen years left. Now, I swear to God, he ain't gonna live longer than my wait, dog. Wait, wait, wait. What, 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 like, what did whack do though? He just whack ass nigga. He just sit on clubhouse and just react to me all day about shit I do. Nobody. And he's, he's a real nigga. He swear he know just gang politics. He just this big ass big homie. He dizzy he that room. man. Shut the fuck. I never seen a pot room in Washington DC a day in my life. That shit sound like plastic old birds. Damn, you don't get along with whack. Whack is whack. Whack just was ass naked. Wait, naked he, on, has he said stuff about you? Whack uh, ten times on no jumper platform. Oh, oh. I don't know the nigga. He just keeps saying Aunt Glizzy, old ass nigga. I don't know this nigga. He didn't keep talking this gangster shit. Like he just super duper Steven Seagal or something. Like what nah, the he fuck? Did, he didn't knock a nigga out on camera. Knock the nigga that? out. Niggas kill niggas on camera. He knocked the nigga out on camera. He is not the one to worry about. You keep talking about whack one that man just and you gonna leave this part out. What about the girl that put out? What about the girl that's doing the interviews out here saying that she was sticking fingers in his ass? What about the what about him ass snacking on Clubhouse to the world? We don't know he in there ass naked, but they leaked the behind the scenes video. He ass naked with his ass up in the air. No, 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 he, a grown man. He, he basically say he uh he um I never been on the Clubhouse app ass naked. I never been on no apps ass naked. Have you ever been on your Instagram ass naked? Like you in the house butt ass naked on Instagram? You wow. No, no, no. What, what, what he said when he's in his house, that's how we get down. So you butt ass naked in your house on your no, stomach on the ground. That's him. Whack is whack. All that old man, that shit bullshit. He fake ass. He got this fake ass shit. Shit, matter prince. I get, I get all my, all my, like you know, if, if there's a street shit that happened, I gotta listen to whack. He gonna tell me who's guilty and who's innocent, who's snitching, who's not. Like whack is like he's like the OG of the hood. Whack lame as hell. Whack is whack. That's all I can tell you. What does he ever said about you? You gotta look that shit up. He just be talking to Rocket. He just report on Anglis. I don't know the nigga, bro. I called the nigga phone before. I like it. I know somebody you that called know him? Yeah, I know somebody that know him. I said, what's Wack number? They gave me Wack number. I called Wack on IG Live. I said, Wack, you see how easy it is to find your number? Nigga, you know what the fuck it is. And I hung up on his ass. He heard me. Did he know it was you? Yeah, he knew it was me. I told him it was me. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Wack's a devious nigga, man. Wack like, can have all the pool in LA. I promise y'all. you're not going to LA yet. Yeah, Wack ain't coming to DC. That's the same shit I'm gonna tell. Now let me pop my shit because I be trying to be humble. Early these niggas, you ain't coming to Chicago. No nigga from Chicago coming to Washington, DC doing shit. All that coming to, go, come to uh, Chicago, go live. You niggas ain't coming to DC going live. All that, you niggas won't fly to LA. None of you niggas copping on no, no plane coming to DC doing none of this. The same way y'all feel about y'all state, I feel about mine. So stop popping that. You ain't coming here shit because you niggas ain't coming here. The fuck out of here. That's what I want you to know. Niggas Niggas ain't coming to DC neither, all right? They Fuck you talking about? Nat Quavo, you know where that shit originated from? It was there's a dude named like 3 Black that did that. 3 Black had nothing to do with that shit. He made a song about it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, niggas make songs. 3 Black never bitch ass rapper. Now I'm about to let my ass in. I don't even want to talk about him on this platform. I don't even know what that is. Next question. Wait. I don't know what that is. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm we, not feeding into it. No, no, no. no, no you blowing like these him. niggas up. He just got a squash. I'm not talking you, about it. It's no, squash. Whack 100, we got squash. No, I'm not squashing nothing with whack. Yeah, don't got, it's not that serious. It's not. But I ain't squashing nothing. Well, like, the only thing whack might have done that might picture of course. Real sweet, Nick. And we squashing beef real short. It's like, I ain't squashing nothing. I told you you're going to die before me, bro. Think about it. If I duck whack for 20 years, I'm going to be 50. He's going to be 94. His ass is going to be gone. I haven't seen a 94 year old Pyru yet. Have you? He okay. might be the first. Never. The first to go. And Pyru. Shout out to the real Pyrus. Y'all got a 70-year-old fucking y'all name up. And the bloods was be you know how many bloods, you know how many Pyrus got into it with Chris back in the day now in the Crips and the, the Pyrus just chilling with a white guy that's from Paul Hub. Like Paul Hub clearly, like the Crips is linked up with Paul Hub. This shit's crazy. The Crips and the Bloods and Paul Hub. Like what the hell is going on in 2024? Who's reporting them? Adam 22. Yeah, well, they getting the check. I ain't know the Crips and Bloods was they went from killing to fucking. All right, man. Let me get out of here, man. <laughs> All right, yo, anybody else you be with? I ain't know. I thought, yo, I gotta squash that beef yo, because you and you and you and Wack would be, be great content. I ain't sure we can make some content along with the business, right? I'm just talking shit. I think I think you and um Charles White would be good too. Y'all yeah, don't hate each other. Nah, hell nah. That's just. That's just all this shit really content. I don't hate nobody. I don't have, I don't have no beef with Shaw for real. This shit just content. But these nah, niggas nah, don't really have like you to do something, Shaw. Okay. All right, anybody else you hate or or um? I hate all these niggas. I 
I don't fuck with none of these niggas. At DC, we on the map right now. Southeast Washington, DC, you are Virginia. Off DC heavy. I'm gonna lie to you. Yeah, heavy. We well, the on only right thing now. you're fucking up is that everybody knows. Like once DC gets a little motion, Maryland and VA, everybody got to start. Like it's kind of all everybody mixed in. You kind of isolate. That's what you wanted to be. I'm from Washington DC. If Virginia wants somebody to put them on, find out Virginia. No, a nigga from Hampton told me. To a nigga from Hampton told me you banned from over there. That's facts. I ain't tripping, bro. You telling me I'm banned from places I've never been, never want to go. I know where I ain't banned from. There's real niggas in Hampton, brother. It's cool. I'm a real nigga. Real niggas respect real academics. You don't know me from knowing me. So if you knew me from knowing, if you was ever like, if you know me from knowing, and if you know me from knowing me, bro, you wouldn't even be like you. You would be chilling. You wouldn't even care, bro. You wouldn't even care about these niggas you getting into it with. Like if I was your homeboy and you was getting into it with these guys, my honest shit, man. I'm whack with my OG, like you did. Whack your OG? Yeah, I had to tell him to get the saucy. He had a little saucy Santana thing. He had he knew a gay nigga that fight niggas. Oh, whack your OG. Yeah, why whack no other hand limbs? Whack your big homie. Yeah, whack the gates in the street. So whack say, man, I come in this back room. Let me feel your ass real quick. No, 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 no. Not that type of big homie. It's uh, like one of the big homies was like, yo, once it gets to street shit, like wha sure. whack gonna be like, yo, nephew. I'm just making sure. Stand down. I'm just be like, all right, sure. I got you. Or he'll be like, nephew, I'm going to handle that. You know how he talk. We can squash that shit. That ain't, about that. That ain't really no serious be. But Alfonso, Chicago, and all these other niggas. Fuck these niggas. I ain't trying to be friends with none of these niggas. I'll be the villain, y'all. I'll take yo, the villain. Yo, the next episode we're going to have is going to be me, him, and King Yellow. Okay? We're going to find some common ground. We're going to have Lil J on the phone. He's going to call in. I ain't trying to be around no 63rd niggas. I read you had Shaq Litz and Fetrail. I already put some DC niggas in here. Why would you pick me up some Chicago niggas? <laughs> Back door. Hey, bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I get it, man. Hey, yo, uh, anything to shout out, man? I know you've been doing your thing, man. It's been a successful year for you. I want to con uh, congratulate you. Like you said something to me before we got on here. It's been nine months since you've been doing what you've been doing? Yeah, I've been on YouTube like I'm just, like nine, ten months, like almost a year, maybe a year. Might God be a damn. year now. Shit, congrats, man. I, I, I know it. next year you're going to keep turning up even more. Um, a lot of people enjoy it. Like, you know what everybody has told me? They said, Ak, we love him for his stories. He tell us his story like we're there. <laughs> That's what makes me who I am, though. These ain't these stories, y'all. These, like, real-life situations, y'all. They stories because, like, this shit, this shit really happened. I'm just telling y'all what came through the eyeballs, relating it to y'all. You ain't got to believe me if you don't. You don't. It is what it is. But I'm from the bottom, man. We on. I love it. Shit. Listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's necessarily it, shit. Some stuff you might not even want to tell verbatim, but I think it's the way you tell a story, how descriptive you are, how funny you are. I think that's why people like listening to you and watching you. And um, I could tell just off the first interview we did, you've quickly became a fan favorite. So, you know what I mean? So I appreciate you coming back out, brother. Well, definitely. I told you, act whenever you call, I'm coming. I'm going to come running. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bob Sun TV, Litter's YouTube, since YouTube. They say I'm the Litter's YouTube out, though. They said I got the most, they, they say I got the most charisma over there. Yeah, I, I was going to put you and J-Main, like, close, but I think J-Main got to find a couple more new sayings. Like, every time, like, I hear you, you got a new joke. It hit different. Yeah, you see, like, that shit was popping. You like over whoop. Yeah, like, he got a few sayings, and it's really good, but. Do your homework. Yeah, See, he just got to reinvent a couple more things. That's the thing when you're like, you get popular off so many things. With you, I be hearing some funny shit every single time. Yeah. You ever think about doing comedy? Yeah, but to see what happened to Charleston White, that's why I won't. Shit, well, just shoot the nigga. Damn, he just tried to turn me from Charleston White to Troy Ave. This shit is crazy. What you think about Troy Ave? I ain't going to say that. He be in the <laughs> You don't wonder what I think about him. I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> I told you I ain't even in the streets I don't care Oh good Alright man <laughs> Yo listen so Thank you for watching Another episode of Off the Record Podcast Mention with each academics Yo I'm here with the guy Top 5 funniest In the game right now He's Time his, out Top 5 Who the fuck is 4, 3, 2, or 1 You playing I ain't say if you were 1 Or you were 5 I'm just saying you. Uh, so why I might get a minutes Top 3 Just, just say top okay, 3 Okay top 3 All right, well, Top 3 man Listen Y'all go check out Anglizzy man uh, Complete hilarious Storyteller Somebody who I'm gonna be honest with you Uh I could vouch for a lot of things he's saying and also he's giving us a different insight on not only the streets but uh, also everything he's been through just being a fly on the wall in a lot of rooms that we were not privy to man I appreciate it coming out my man until next time brother peace there we go <laughs>